Y'all ready for this? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Y'all ready for this? Yo, yo. What, what up, do? What up, do? Yo, yo. What up, do? To my nigga caution. What up, do? To all my niggas in the house. What up, do? Yo, yo. Yo, Here it is. Huh. I'm getting hot in my hood, no doubt. Drink, get it, stop. Watch the sunset. Keep the holes wet. Top, top, convertible vet. Coming through like a bat out of hell. Crash my shit like the trails pre well. Same song, different story. No joke, cause I ain't your Tory. My territory is ill like that. Niggas kill like that. Apartment three, blaze gang, keep it real like that. Microphone chat, enough respect. When I'm pulling out my 30 round tech, you should've kicked down my cash with your punk ass. Armageddon, a max. See all my niggas united. We keep these holes excited. Player haters not invited in my domain. Peace to all my niggas locked down. Fall the chain. I keep it hot like we spot. So send it to them burly game. Now what you wanna do? Cause some of you niggas are bitches too. I represent my west side and my east side crew. So fuck Chris down, we drink brew, ho. What up, though? To all my homies at the liquor store, what up, though? To all my dogs in Bel Air, what up, though? To all my homies at All Stars, what up, though? To all the hookers of Brass Keith, what up, though? What up, though? What? Just watch your back at all times because Detroit streets are full of crime. And everybody ball at North Flint Mall. Spend a hundred here, G there. But niggas beware, cause Highland Park is the spot. Niggas don't play fair. Living corrupt, sticky for a bird in the house. I crack a 40 ounce, walking down decks to ass. Detroit's the shit. Young niggas walking their pits. Step in the grass, key. Get a queen shaking them hips. Too many popos, I throw foes. Let's hit lose deli. Call up a trick on the celly. And run game helly. We bang women like we feel. Every day we get paid, peace to my dogs in the Brewster Projects, best to duck from the fucking flying objects When they jet, won't be no fingerprints or suspects Barbecue blaze by the PA Seven mile dogs in their face, get paid for days <laughs> Got much love to the biggest mile in the city My homies, the make my sconies What up, though? To all my homies in Southwest What up, though? To all my dogs in Inktown What up, though? To all my hoes on the east side What up, though? To all my dogs on the west side What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Yo, I'm just your broke, petty nigga from around the way. Sling a little bit of dope, clock a G a day. Mama looking at a nigga like you lost your mind. You remind me of your daddy back in 69. The sun don't shine, spin the G's down at the grind. I'm just a city cat, pushing a convertible light. Me and my homie know blue back, cruising down Mac. Ain't nothing changed, homie. Brothers fronting like they don't know me, cause they owe me the pesos. Don't make me catch a case, hoes, mad fiends. Means my niggas pulling their pistols from their Tommy Hill jeans. Crack a 40 ounce, a bounce, smoke up an ounce. Big booty chicks walk around through Greek town. I keep my city live. Detroit, the storm survive. When niggas used to beat box back in 85. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Nigga, what up, though? To all my homies on the east side, what up, though? To all my dogs in your win, what up, though? To all my homies in apartment three, what up, though? To all my dogs on the west side, what up, though? Sell to millions of people online with Shopify social media and marketplace integrations. It's the Hood Smokers Podcast. Let's get it, Detroit hip hop, yo. This is Brother King X. Every time I watch the news. I buy my head in sinus, it made me sick to my stomach, the witness violence, I hit the prayer run, deep inside, I'm crying, Lord of the world's blood, the ends of all this dying. I 
Allah, please help me understand what's going on. Why these young brothers out here doing wrong? Acting savagely, firebombing women's homes. All of this, cause she left your sorry tale alone. 19 year old boy responsible for mass shootings. Action through Allah is the best solution. Plus, these young boys going crazy shooting cops. I give my life to Allah, please make it stop. And they safe on the highways Eight people shop a block in a man's driveway Forgive us of the light that's black disregard We don't need no more black bodies in the mall I want to live long enough to experience peace With the lies help, God's killing, God's will cease We need to unify and get on one accord Love each other is a commandment from thy Lord Practice my artistry all day. Yeah, that nigga go what they all say. When I used to spit flows in the hallway, ain't no question regarding my forte. Manifesting the verse was like horse play. With a clarity close to the 4K. Nothing less than a god MC or dang. It was all types of things on the floor, man. In the life that a young player portrayed. Ventured into the industry for it. Wasn't sure it was for a G per se. But I knew making music was my thing. And when they was getting bread out the dope gang, I was up in the studio, no change. Any other lifestyle seems so strange. And I would never throw salt on your name. If you Rather be pirates than king. Lord knows a nigga pay dudes with pain. But it ain't never been no shame in my line. With an attitude, like fuck what they think. And that I had to do until some shit change. A lot of gratitude to who paved the way. Truth is that the whole thing's a phase. Who's to say that the phase ain't a lifetime? Summer days when it rains to the nighttime. Blowing J's with my girl while I write rhymes. She break me off something tight at the right time. There ain't no hitchhiker's guide, ain't no guidelines. Ain't no one to confide in the sidelines. Players ain't gon' complain and they don't cry. One thing about the game, it's a long ride. Let me tell you how the timelines align. When to California, then I went to NY. Hollywood kitchen sink with my one guy. Greedy Gray, DJ Quick Compton was live. Brand new J7s on the nigga feet. TKO had some beats that was heat. Hotel room, writing flows with a freight. I'ma tell you what it been like. NY, maneuver through the five boroughs. Manhattan skyline, top of the world. Raw hole, socio dynamite too. Three up all the shit that we was into. When I got introduced to the GM, never crossed my mind I might meet him. Studio in the Bronx to the AM. That's where I got my grandmaster training. He challenged me to be a great at MC. Show me how to be the artist, haters envy. Make a hit using nothing but an MP. Flash is fast, flashing no full nine. Nah. One thing that I learned in the NY, go hard in the paint, you could get signed. It's a big world out there, you inside, but you could gonna make it happen if you inspire. Jet planes in the sky, it's cool sometimes. If your loved ones waiting when you touch down, some city so lonely from the sundown. Now a G did his thing in the D first. Sometimes I might tell it all to you reverse. Make a long story short, it's about thirst. If you a go get it, you gon' have to get it first. I've been somewhere everywhere. Yeah. Spinning airfare, Fair. pretty women here and there, nigga. Hell yeah. yeah. Made a living in the business, Hollywood glam. Yeah. Malibu, Calabasas, I've been there. Sky for city star, they know who you are. When you walk through the door, wide open arms. Where the stars stay out the whole day long. And the moon show up before the sun down. <laughs>
Y'all got me battling the male Candace Owens. I just want everybody to know. I didn't want to do this. <laughs> oh my. It's crazy because I tried to give respect to this weird ass nigga. But he kept disrespecting me like I'm somebody you could just play with like that. Y'all know in real life I fold that little punk ass nigga up like a fucking lawn chair. Uh, bootlicker, huh? Yeah, I said fuck your mother. If I was Nims, your mother's a gunther. I roll your kid in the ball and punt her. On my gorilla, king of the hill, beat you like Dilla. Alien sent here to kill a pillar. Most death ain't gon' ride with him. This weak nigga probably explode in a pink glitter if I hit him. This so Antoine Dotson ass nigga trying to bid. Now you gotta hide your wife, hide your kids. Speaking to kids, I heard you raping everybody out here. Fucking perv, the fucking nerve. Was up and herb when this fucking nerd want to purge. That's a fact bar. A whole group with most death, but still ain't a black star. The same beef, the chop squeeze, it's chopped cheese. Quali screaming out, y'all seen, and I fleas. Send them to God, you'll be y'all. I seen if I'm mean, pack him up. Now he's some bomb weed for my trees. If I could reach in your soul, I pull out a bitch. Like Cranny, when she pissed off, we pulling a switch. Your ass up. Thought he could get fly just to get fried. I don't let shit slide. He made just to get by, just to get fly. Think I'm a pimp, cause I beat a whole punch of chest. You'll see my knuckles through the other side like pizza dough. Coming for the bread, I'm a lyrical killer. I pay for a feature, that just means money on your head, nigga. But this shit got odd fast for your eyes. Ass. If I'm mad and I spaz, I'ma put more paws on him than the Mason Cam podcast. Got a gun, but he probably a faint if I flash. Running around with guns like ISIS, leave you iceless. This chain was 50 grand, but the look on his face priceless. I throw this right at the fake righteous duck or you falling. If I knock a conscious nigga unconscious, what do you call him? A gift certificate for lids, I get your guy caps. Call the bullets R. Kelly, can you survive that? You the prey, I'm the hunter, I want you under. They'll find Brenda's baby in the dumpster. And slide fashion, I slide past him and sidetrack him. Snatch the blunt right out your fucking hand, I'm hijacking. Slay a liar till they retire, your mother should have swallowed you. Guess that's what I get for not aiming higher. Open your mouth next time, Brenda. FanDuel Casino has your chance at the number one feeling, winning which ranks even higher than the 18th best feeling, saving a kid from a well. 59 years later. Find the number one feeling winning on FanDuel Casino Reward Machine. Free to play every day with a chance at a two grand top prize. Back then, we used to call them 60s because they Are were we about to pop off? Uh, out the box, like $60, pay up fresh Hell new yeah. tears. Top 10's Calvin Klein's and a Max Jr. A Max Jr. leather jacket you got on the YBI hookup. We make the mean team, my Adidas and me. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can see you, man. That's a nice-ass hat. Oh, oh. From state to state, it's a leader on my feet. Hot top of love. What's that joint you got playing? From state to state, it's the beat on my feet, hot top or low. Step back and right, hot top or low. Step back and right, hot top or low. See me talking through the streets like the white red rock. In Detroit, it ain't no stomping in no Air Force Ones. We rock cans with the pain and the 501. Young boy, we have a nice head out. Julian, three strikes, both life like I'm repping the set. One to rock, one to stock, and yo, I gotta stay fresh. The track suit with the fitted, cracking hard on the left. Not, nice shout out to Detroit. Let's give a shout out to Staten Island. Give a nice shout out to Arizona, Tucson, Arizona. In the house. Uh, Philly. Uh, let's give a shout out to Chester McBride. Love, that, was a, that was a dope ass episode last week. Yo, Chester McBride. Yeah, you hit that camera icon. It took me a while. It took me a while to uh, figure it out myself. I hit that camera icon. Hey, 
hey, hey, even with that camera icon, you can do a little, little trick stuff with the camera icon too, you know? Colorways for days, I'm three stripes legit. Got my dogs with me, oh. and them dogs be wildin'. Drippin' heavy sauce, nigga, thousand island. Top 10 aviator out the two that's climbing. Jeremy put All right, going to old school. Stuntin' on niggas and not even trying. I got a hundred pairs, homie, and I'm not lying. Put a stamp on it. And that's just true. Detroit top ten, homie, that's our shoe. Oh uh, yeah. classic color, red, white, and blue. I just I With just waved at him. He was on there. Like, I, I just waved at him. Like you so. see me, then you see three. Stripes on them sneakers in 3D. Where my dogs at? Oh. What up, doe? Adidas on my feet. Hot top or low. Where my dogs at? What up, doe? Adidas on my feet. Hot top or low. Adidas. Oh. From state to state. It's Adidas on my feet. Hot top or low. This shit just come on in. All you gotta do is hit that camera icon. That's all. Hit that general. Go to Hood Smoking Podcast and hit that camera icon. So my nuts can hang 45 through my buttons fly I'm cutting the rug Top 10 never stepped on No cut on my drug Top side Uchi Khan Come from YBI Young boys 100 years Some things that never die Forever fly Campaigning Call me young I put the mix in the jive With the lotus and dawn Concord and fall no Then it's back to the 10 Now respect due to everybody No, no respect due to the Hood Smoker Welcome to the Hood Smoker Podcast. Comment. The hottest number one podcast based out of Detroit, Michigan. And now, with your host, Jay Gutter, Brother King X, Latonio Todd, and the rest of the Hood Smoker Squad, we don't do no Vlad stuff. We don't do no Adam stuff. We keep packing in the legends, respect them, and keep adding up. So pack a blunt or two, maybe grab a brew and a snack for you, and leave behind your attitude, and get ready as we snap into the Hood Smoker Podcast. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Welcome to the Hood Smoker Podcast. Up, I'm Jay Gutter. Above me is Christopher Jordan. Hey, tonight, what's going on, peoples? Hope right. y'all having a uh, good night. Uh, we got tonight. We got a Detroit motherfucking legend in the building. I'm gonna let you all know who y'all work with. Let's just say like SWV, Three Six Mafia, Street Lord, Cheddar Boys, just like all types of legends, dog. Hold on, It'll, but uh, we got it's a dope episode, y'all. He's one of the most controversial artists out of Detroit. My bad, I was messaging him right now. We gonna switch old school. We gonna go over here to Messenger and shit. From the Discord, so uh, right now you got myself and Chris, our brother Christopher Jordan from Staten Island, hundred percent Tucson, Arizona. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Staten Island in Tucson. Hold up. All right. Uh, yeah. Shout out. Shout out, Fast Taylor. Yeah. Go Fast ahead and uh, talk your shit, uh, Christopher Jordan, while I go ahead and uh, get this set up. All right. You know, welcome to the Hood Smokers Podcast. Like and share in the comments. You know. Uh, shout out to everybody uh, uh, out there in Chicago. Uh, shout out to everybody in Detroit. Shout out to everybody in Staten Island. Shout out to everybody in Philly. Your mic went. Your mic went. I can't hear you. I cannot hear you, fam. I can't hear you, fam. Your mic went. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Christopher Jordan, Christopher Jordan, you can't hear me. Shout out to Chester McFly in the building. I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I can't hear you, brother. Uh, you do. Okay, no, I can't. With everybody in the Hood Smokers podcast, keep on going on. Um, with everybody, just keep on uh, coming in the comments and, and talk about what you want to talk about, and we'll get back with you on that topic. So if you come up inside the uh, comments saying, something that you want to hear about off of the hood smokers podcast we'll definitely uh get back with you on that topic um especially we're going to have a giveaway going on uh jay gutter what's that giveaway yeah we got a giveaway we got to uh put the whole announcements but one i can tell you right now one of the prizes is a track either produced or a beat 
however you want it, from Dirty B, one of the dopest producers out of Detroit, you know what I'm saying? You can either get a dope-ass beat, or he'll even produce your track, mix and master, all that professional shit, you know what I'm shout saying? Out, shout, shout out, shout out, shout out to Dirty B. B. Shout out Dirty B, 100%. That's that 10K, yeah, yeah. and that's because of y'all, man. All organic, ain't no pay to play. Shout out Chester McFly in there. We see you. What, what are you at? About a million subscribers now, Chester McFly? No pay to play. <laughs> he ain't playing. Go check out uh, Chester McFly, y'all. Brother King X tapping in. We got to uh, get starstruck in the building. Uh, the Discord, you know, it's a little difficult. So uh, we going to go Shout ahead. Shout out Brother King X. What up, though, Brother what King up? X? What up, though? What up, though? Now, what up? We just going to go ahead and do this one. Uh, I talked to Starstruck. We gonna do it old school, you know what I'm saying? Cause we talking, we gonna be talking about uh, old school Detroit hip hop from the '80s through the '90s, on up through the 2000s. You know what I'm saying? He was named in like the top 50 most influential artists of hip hop period in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? He was in that list. So uh, we gonna go ahead and call Starstruck. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and make that call and end this Discord call. And we gonna call Starstruck. We got the whole fam on there. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll talk to y'all in one minute. Just pick up on the messenger. All right. You know, sometimes that's how we got to do this shit when it's live. And then I got to uh, shoot over here real quick on this other computer and disconnect the Discord. Y'all, hold on. Just give me real qu one quick quick Discord. We're going to make this call and we're going to make it happen. Salute to everybody in the building, mate. Make sure you go ahead and uh, click like, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Tonight we celebrating Detroit hip hop, y'all. Let's get it. What up, though? Brother King X. What up, though? What up, Christopher dog? Jordan, back, and we back in this motherfucker. Now we just wait for uh, Black Antonio Ty Starstruck to enter the building. Y'all see that Finkel hat? I knew Brother King X wasn't finna miss, miss this episode, you know what I'm saying? Now Finkel in the building, you know what I'm saying? In case y'all don't, why don't you give him a little quick history lesson on Finkel before Starstruck jumps on here? Well, you know, Finkel, Finkel was once upon a time back in the days. It was an all-white area. It was like a suburban area until, you know what I'm saying, we started moving in. You know, everybody started moving in, and and that's that as far as, far as Finkel go. You know what I'm saying? But it was once a flourishing neighborhood full of, full of Jewish people. Then, you know, with the with the car plants and auto plants, you know what I'm saying? Everybody started moving to the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Thank I said, you, it was once a nice area. It was once a nice area. It wasn't always hood and ghetto like everybody think it was. Right, right. It was, it was. What up, though? We got the man himself starstruck in the motherfucking building, y'all. What up, though? What up, though? What it What's be like, going, everybody out brother? there? Checking in straight from Finkel 41 for life. Cool high. Yeah, sir. Going on, yeah, my I'm, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling starstruck, 100. percent Feeling me, feeling yeah. me, huh? Yep, yep, yep. I got a lot. I got a lot of things to talk about. First and foremost, I like to thank the staff for bringing me on. You guys, you guys did wonderful things, for real. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you, dog. Cause we know you a legend in this game. You like what Detroit legend, pioneer, trendsetter. We all know Detroit is like a trendsetter in hip hop. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. Always been, and I'm glad you are here because you can elaborate more on that. Like how Detroit played this role. Cause Detroit all gets overlooked a lot in like '80s hip hop. You know what I'm saying. Even the '90s and shit. Like we got almost hated on. You know what I'm saying. But uh, why don't you break it down? When did Starstruck? When did you fall in love with hip hop? Oh man, we're gonna take it back to 1985 actually. Um I, I start off as a DJ first under Gary Chandler. Uh, Gary Chandler, my homeboy, um, my homeboy T Born, my homeboy D Fly. We from Finkel 41. Gary Chandler's really from six mile um out of dry. He's come on, he's come on Finkel, DJ at my homeboy Donovan's house back in 1986. Back during that time. I was always, I was always into rap, but Gary Chandler, they used to play house music. Oh, I fucking hated house music in fucking eighties. I was young, I was like 15, 16 years old. Man. I did not like house music at all. So I was a battle DJ. I used to like, you know, I used to like um DJ battle, do tricks, everything, or whistle, just bugging, L Cool J battle. I'm a speed mixer at the time. You know what I'm right. saying? My Gary and them, they play house, like house, house nation music, all that type of shit. 
I'm in the basement waiting to DJ like five hours. I, I sit, I sit, not to wait, five hours to get on a turntable. They just give me 10 minutes to get on a turntable at right they go to the store. And Gary Chandler tell you this about me. I fucking hate house music in the 80s. But um what? I'm from the air, I'm from the air um uh, from the hip hop Detroit uh, far as hip hop scene. I'm from the 80s era, 90s era. See, to me, you had a group called the Fresh Boys made Chip Ahoy, Fresh Peace, Fresh Chip, Boy Chip, Ken. Chip, 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 Chip Ahoy, Fresh Boy Ken. That was a dope group Chip, for my Chip, boy Chip, DJ Chip Henhouse. Ahoy. My boy DJ Henhouse was the um the um DJ for the Fresh Boys. Yeah, yeah shout out Henhouse. We had DJ Henhouse yeah, on. We yeah. had him on. Do you have then you had Just Chilling Records, better known as One of Love Records on Grand River, which is mm -hmm. a, um, my man J.J. Razor. He did not like me as a kid because I started asking questions. He put a um a guy named Audie D out. He um Just Chilling. Then my then, you know he put Austin Dre first single out called Hardcore, and you know because I was asking him J.J. Razor, how can you be a record shop distributor? You got all these titles. I'm you a manager? I asked him that at 17 years old. He did not like me at all. J.J. Razor, One of Love Records. He on he on, on just chilling records too. That's how that's how far back I went. You had you had uh, you had a host of people like the DBGs from the night. The DBGs are getting no respect whatsoever. DBGs on Hammer's label called Busted Capital Records. His single called Body Like a Motherfucker. Like bang Boo bang boogie. Got a booty like a, my got boy, a my, like a MF. Yo, what's my, wrong? Yeah, my homeboy, my homeboy Snipe, my homeboy Fingers, my boy Riddler. They popped on Hammer's label from 1993, 1995. DBG, they get they don't get me even mentioned in conversation. Do you do you got my Man. boy Mike Fresh Heart? You my boy, you got my boy Mike Fresh Heartbreaker, 1988. Heartbreaker, he played they played a um, Billy T uh, basement tape. Mike Fresh from Chassis High's own and Heartbreaker. He Shout had Mercy to me. Well, you know Mercy me. You know Mercy me is a day without a pioneer. A pioneer. You have oh, awesome had Dre. We had him you have awesome, you have you have you have awesome Dre, Prince Vince. Um, Chaos and Maestro. Then you had a group called You OK. Now, You OK, they from Grand Rapids, Michigan. They had a deal with Profile Record. They only Detroit group had a deal with Profile Record called You OK. Hit record called She's a Bitch and um, Subtitle Party. That was on Profile Record group from um, from Grand Rapids, Michigan. You had Grand Rapids on Robert S. Right here, I'm going to show you something real, I'm show you something real quick. I know, my, I, know, I know Detroit hip hop. This Robert S. hit record called Big Words. 1987, well, epic record. He's the first Robert Detroit is. artist to get a major That's deal. Era. Robert S. Great AKA era. Hellraiser. Come on now, I know my Detroit hip hop. This and I still get this original record. I never sold it, nothing like that. Robert S. Hellraiser, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Epic Records, 1987. Next Plateau Records, 1988, 1990. No Boy Giants for the Red Alert, Red Alert compilation album. I go on and on. That's how far back I go with Detroit history. Then I'm gonna talk about another person. Um. Um, organized rhymes. That was that was on um, that was on Just Chilling Records. Oh yeah. On my boy JJ Razor. Know. Yeah, J Organized Rhymes. Then you had the B side crew from the East Side, 1994, kicking on the B side. My boy Matt Scrolly and them from the East Side. Then you then you had Nikki D. Ebony her business. That's my friend. Hey, hey, Work that hey, sucker to death. Hey, hey, dig this starstruck. I still talk yeah. to DJ 3D to this day. Yep. Like I just got off the you, phone. I just got off the phone. I was talking to 3D earlier, bro. I was talking to him earlier. Three, wait, 3D the legacy. He know me. He knew. He knew me as Dealer Wiz. My first name. I'm gonna talk about my other names. I went through. Before I got the Starstruck. I've been knowing 3D since I was 17, eight, eight, 17 years old. 3D Legacy. Ebony and her business. Um, Nikki D's former DJ. That's my whole boy. We still tight to this day. You know what I'm saying? Do you have UC? You see from Detroit, from the, I think they're from the project. Chili Chill. Chili Chill. Yep. 1993. Me, him, me, 3D, and Chili Chill, we had, we, we had like a little group thing going on, uh, like in 99, 2000, bro. We all yep. used to be at 3D yep. recording. Then you have my brother, D the Great. D the Great's my brother. <laughs> That's my brother. Cause you, great. you know what I'm saying? Sexy dance. Yep, he know about you. Sexy. I'm, I'm, we, we talk about his single too. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm yeah, uh, so, our so, family right here. here. Uh, go ahead, Starstruck. Is this your show? Go ahead. Oh no, what it is? People put the wrong people on to talk about Detroit hip hop. It's like you came. Average person came in name. I can name 500 people right back in my head. It's like you got the wrong people. Had the wrong people talking about Detroit hip hop. You gotta go back from the eighties. 90s and 2000s. You gotta start from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So, so you you had you had people like um 
you had like you had you had Detroit Box. Come on, not Detroit Box. Yeah, Detroit Box Cash you had Money. Danny K. You had yeah, Danny K. Back in the day, you had DJ Razorblade. You had Rap Mob. Yeah, DJ Razorblade. Then you had Triplex Booty Bum, nineteen ninety one. Get off the yeah. dump and rock that booty. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You had place oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, oh, I yeah, remember place all that. Yeah. Slap that ass and make it jig. Oh, we gonna talk about that too. Then you, then you got, then you got Lance's own Cam C crew. Devil came up to Michigan, nineteen ninety one. That don't even get Michigan, Michigan. In conversation. He was licking the Michigan. Then yeah, you, then you got my boy. Steel. I was with the young guys. We dropped the record in '91. Young guys, we had okay. our shit up in the stones. Hey, you can go back. You can go back further than that. You can go back further. Further than, than that. that. You can go. You can go, you hey, go speaking of Lansing, speaking of Lansing, I used to be part of uh Silicon Heights. Okay, I remember that. Remember hearing about those? Y'all remember hearing yeah, about that I all the time? But I had to lead. I, I had to lead that alone because I found out a certain individual that I once looked up to was a pedo. So I had to yeah cut that short. Uh, then, yeah. That's how far back I go. Uh, then, 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 we'll, then we'll talk about LaRock OT, booty, booty bitch. He don't even get mentioned in the conversation. He was on, he was on our first Def Jam Records, 1994, LaRock OT from the East Side. And, and they don't even get mentioned. I thought, how the fuck are you talk about Detroit hip hop? You gotta bring all names of conversation to people. You, you bring the basic names like motherfuckers talk the basic shit. I go all the way back and keep talking about they, more. They you had the about, only. They don't know about Ibo Deep, motherfuckers out of Detroit. Yeah. They don't know about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Then, then you, you had, you had, you had, period. Then you had, oh, period. And then you had the Omen. You, you had the Omen from Highland Park, 1996. Doing the Omen it in them. Doing it. Come on, now. Doing it. You know in Park. And you haven't even brought up like the uh, big names from uh, like oh, yeah. the Street Lord Cheddar Boys, the uh, Rock Bottoms. Then, you know what I'm saying? Then, then, you, then, then you had then you had KLB and Saw, 1990. Um, just um, just be, get better with rhymes. You then you had P Groove and Sleepy D and DJ Dez. Um, you can't borrow my P in 1994. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a hip hop historian. I'm a Detroit historian. Nobody flat out. Nobody no more hip hop than me. It's a couple people that I respect. But I go on and on and on and on and on. So I love my Detroit hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Detroit. I'm gonna give a shout out real quick. And R and B. Yeah. Hey, I was the then, then we real quick. Then, then like my school, I'm from Cooley. We got hip. We got stars, baby. We got we got people that came out of Cooley that made a definite impact. We are gonna start my girl Keena Cosper from the group Brownstone. She was a group 1994. Uh, she was from Cooley 1988. If you love yeah, me. Do it if you yep. love me. Prove it. Yeah. yeah then you yeah. had Andre and Duncan. Then you had Andre and Duncan Hines and Lee and Mike. DJ Duncan Hines. DJ Duncan Hines from Detroit Mo Twenty. Went to they went to Cootie. I know. They went to Cootie. Then Smiley. Then Smiley went to Cootie. Smiley went to Cootie with me. Smiley, Smiley went to Cootie. Freak out. Um, you know what I'm saying? Then, then you then you had Davina, R&B, hip-hop, R&B, neo-soul style. Come on, my place, 1997. She's on Loud Records. She's the first neo-soul artist from Detroit to get a major deal. Davina from Detroit. So you went to Cootie, class 85. Then I'm going to take you even further. It's a group called Kier from the 80s. They did record with Shanice called this time. They went to Cootie, came out 85. Um, they they cool called Kier from, they from Detroit. They went to Cootie, came out 1985. You know what I'm saying? So... Then you got Wolf and the Lodge Boy. Wolf and the Lodge Boy went to Cootie. He went to Cootie. Then you had Black Milk went to Cootie. Then you had Starstruck went to Cootie. Then you, then you got, then you got, then, 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 then I'm yeah, saying yeah. this, it's a female hip hop group. It's hip, you probably remember this. It's hip, it, it, female hip hop group came with me. It was dope as hell. They called, they called Sure Elegance, AKA Woman to Woman. They went, went with Cootie with me. Sure Elegance, Woman to Woman. They was the, they was the next Star Pepper to blow up. Man, they came on 1990 they, with me. I was watching their video on YouTube the other day. I don't know how I came across it. I was, okay. old, I was watching a lot of old school Detroit videos because I had seen because I was watching uh Body Like an MF. I remember that then. Mm -hmm. Then I came then I came across Game Moves. I was like, oh yeah. shit. Cause I yeah, because Sure El Sure Elegance better known as woman. They my good friends. They they they, they were some dope females with the cool with me. Sure Elegance, aka woman to woman. Then you have my boy Reggie from the group Exchange. Freaky, I'm freaky. One of the members with the cool with me. He's a singer. Who my boy Reggie from the group. My boy Reggie from the group Exchange. He went to Cooley with me. Yes, you can. So basically, cool. We had we had stars, baby. And let's that's not talk about the basketball team. We stayed champions three years in a row, 1987, 1989. We the only we the only niggas that won basketball championship three straight years, Cooley High. What's up, my boy Big D? What's up, my boy Raphael, Maurice Benson, my boy Hop, 
my boy Derwin Good. You know what I'm saying? Basically, Cooley's school, we got stars, music, mu music, movies, and basketball. That's how far back I go to school. So I got, I fell in love with hip hop, me starting to DJ first. I was in a group called um, the Devastating MCs. They fired me because I started asking questions about publishing when I was 17 years old. Even back then, I started, I started telling, I asked about publishing. So I was in a group called Devastating MCs. They fired me from the group for asking too many questions. And so I got fired. So I went back to DJing. And so my brother, my brother D the Great put me in the business as far as me to learn how to produce records in 19, really 89 and 1990 as an understudy. Him, my cousin Chuck Luck, Charles Rock. You know what I'm saying? So I started with a DJ first. Then I became a producer under my brother, D the Great. Um, and my engineer, Corey Lawrence, got me to come up. I was in the studio. He said, Why you, why you, why you, why you doing sitting? You gotta learn how to work a board or something. So he taught me how to work board. I was 18 uh. years old. I know, I know, I, I started running 16 track board through Corey Lawrence, a studio on Plymouth, on Plymouth and Evergreen area at that time. You know what I'm saying? So, so I was under my brother. He put me in the game I was under his co production, through co producing. And so um, that's how far back I went as far as me getting in the business, as far as him and my older cousin Chuck Luck, great producer too. So basically, any questions you guys want to ask me? Just ask. I'm here. I'm here two hours. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember that there was a record store over there off Plymouth and uh Evergreen. Dame Dame and Dis. Yeah, Damon. yeah. Damon yeah. Records. Yeah. Cause I used to stay off oh for a minute there. I was staying in the nineties, I was staying off Joy Road and Burt Road over there. I used to shoot the, uh over there to that record store. But no, uh, yeah, shout out to Finkel, shout out to the West Side, shout out to Cooley High, you know what I'm saying? We got Starstruck I mean, in the building. I used to go to, uh, I, I to represent go to Cooley, Vegas. baby. Oh, it's, it's, can't you get about Justice Music on Finkel and Huffle? Justice Music right Huffle. next to Cooley. Right. Kendrick's Kendrick, Kendrick record, Kendrick record too on Plymouth, I mean, on Finkel and on, on, on Meyer. Kendrick's records right. through Legendary Records Shop Spot, along with Records For You on Seven Mile, along with Damage Records. I mean, so many record stores I remember growing up. So Motor all places on record, record shops. Motor City Jams on Motor City Miles Records too. Noise. Records for you. Yeah. First motherfuckers, the bootleg records nigga you. shit. Yeah. And then so my thing that. about it too, what inspired me to get into music, like I used to like a couple of groups got in deals, local guys. I'll be like, you signed for $500 and a, and a chain? And back then they just want the money and all that all shit. Right. But I figured, like, I learned, you gotta learn the business. So my brother, my brother, D the Great, had me a contract on a label called Abiance Records, a little local label. And I read it, you know, I said, D don't look right. Don't sign this shit. He never signed the local deal with a label at the time. That's how far back. So I, I was always on business since I was 18 years old. So I, been, I, I, I love the music, but I thought about the money part being paid correctly. Um, so, I, so I studied contracts and learned how to put contracts together. So I'm the I'm the lead I'm the lead I'm the lead I'm the guy that call when you got bad contract I get y'all bad contract. We can talk about that later on today too. So basically, I've been doing this twenty almost twenty seven years, and I've been producing. I've been uh, running my own uh, consultant company, my own production company. I'm a co owner of Great Star Music Group. My brother, uh, better known as Great, we got a record coming out real soon. And um, so basically, I'm ready to talk today. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. So uh. Who are some of your uh, influences, Starstruck? Who? Influences. Some of your influences. My, my brother, D the Great. My brother, D the Great, as far as, because we spent a lot of time with each other. My brother's one of the best lyrics to come out of Detroit. He, he go by the name of Great, and I got a new single called Run It Up from the album, from the, um, e, from the album. It's come out very soon. We're doing a video next week from Run It Up in Detroit. He, he, my, brother, my brother, Great, is on, on some grown man music for real. You guys go enjoy his, his debut single. Called Run About Great. So my brother's influence upon me because my brother, my brother, my brother basically saved my life. You know, he got me, he got me take the music very seriously. So it's my brother, um, rest in peace, Irv Ski, my cousin's best friend, Chuck Luck, Irv Ski from the East Side, one man only. He's influenced upon. We spent a lot of time with him. I mean, my boy Drunken Master. Come on, now, B Boy X. You got him coming show real soon. I don't want to tell you. Drunken Master coming on. That's my boy. We got Drunken Master. My own voice in 1992. That's my own voice since then. He was influenced on me. Um, awesome Dre, of course. Um, Detroit Number oh, yeah. One, A Wall, Rest in Peace. Um, Homicide, B and B um, A Wall Two. Um, the DBGs, of course. Um, Slum Village, Rest in Peace. Jay Dilla. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about Jay Dilla later oh, on too. Dilla. Jay Dilla's story. So them are my influences. Me to get into music. Then enough. I'm gonna talk about some other influence too. See, I came up in the game. I'm a Molly Mall, Teddy Riley. 
um, Harry Love Bug man, oh, okay. trying to be producing fan. I'm a fan of the music. I studied the music. Man, I love man, I love man. bro. I love man. Man, Tronic, Tronic, bro. 808, 808, the 909, and you know what I'm saying, man. Tronic, Herbie Love Bug song, Pepper Dana Dane. Um, uh, um, Doski Love, um, Cop Cash Marvin and Marvelous, just be ugly people be quiet I, I, I all the, the way. From... I needed the beast. Yeah, then, 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 uh, then, then, wait a minute. P the producer I looked up to is Full Force and Larry Smith. Rest in peace, Larry Full Smith. Force. Produce Run DMC. Run DMC. Run DMC. Run DMC. Run DMC. Run DMC. And, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, Larry Smith. Larry Smith wasn't no joke. Larry Smith, most definitely, Larry Smith was a great producer I looked up to. So, them my, them my influences. Now, I'm a, a, couple of, a couple of influences I got too. My boy Michael Powell, Troy's own, Nita Baker producer. He's a positive influence upon me. Michael Powell, producer extraordinaire for Nita Baker, um, Tyrese, other people he had worked with. Then you got um, he's a, and my boy Lathan from Detroit, Nathan Grady, my good friend of mine. He's a positive influence upon me, getting the music been the right way. So, them are some of my influences as far as like music wise. So, I'm in, I'm in this forever, no matter what. That's dope, man. Cause yeah, this hip hop thing ain't got they ain't, they ain't got no age on it at all, man. No, no, no it don't no. make no difference because because Big Mike showed the world at forty eight win three Grammys at forty eight. That's amazing to me. Yeah, Killer Mike. Hip hop. Yeah. I don't care. You you sixty years old got hit record out. You sixty years old. You hot. You hot to me. They they just kind of messed up. They'll put age limit on rock and roll, R and B, nope. or jazz. Hell they will put, they will say after 35, 40, you dumb hip hop. No. Yeah, uh, Willie Nelson, like a hundred years old, you're still singing. You get a whole lot more better. You get a lot better. Hey, you, you know get better. What? Hey, you know what? Russell Simmons said this a long time ago, bro. The mic is like a pipe. It's like the pipe. Once you pick it up, you can't put it down. Or, hey, ain't that All I need is one mic. What well, shit, uh? Okay. What's you the can't, uh? Can't do that. We, we know the name yes, Starstruck. You gotta have the name yes, Starstruck for a reason and shit. Uh, how'd you get the name Starstruck anyway? I know you work with some major uh, people and shit, but uh, how'd you get the name Starstruck? What happened, <laughs> uh, Gary Chandler, my original name, cause I was, well, I was DJing in the 80s. I, 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 I laugh at it now. I thought, I thought of like some great, some names that meant something. I used to go, I call myself the grand creator of Dealer Wiz. That's my first name. Cause I looked at Grandmaster Flash, Grandmaster D, Grandmaster Melly Mel, Grandmaster Cass. Yeah. I can't. I call myself Grandmaster D. I call myself the Grand Creator D. Lewis, DJ D. Lewis. Then I changed that name in 1992. That was kind of played out. I can't call myself the Grand Creator D. Lewis no more. And what happened? <laughs> uh, I call myself. I call myself first place in 1993. I, I'm from first place. It's another guy called. It was another guy had a record out from Detroit called First Place. I say I can't. I, I took the name First Place. I thought. I thought about group third base. From third base. I'm calling myself First Place. So I changed that name. So the true story, I'm in the, I'm in the Harmony Garden Project with my girl, rest in peace, Tamika Scott. She came with the name Starstruck, 1995. I, I was going through some changes to figure out where I'm going to go by professionally. And um, my man Cam from the West Coast, he'd be on the Ice Cube, had a, had a song, had my name and Starstruck in the record. So basically Cam, the lyrics was like, cruising up, cruising up, Shaw, cru, cru, cruising up Shaw with your Chris on in L.A., Making left on normally starstruck bitches better recognize. She went, I said, we, we, we wind that back in. So cruising up Crenshaw, make a left on normally, starstruck bitches better recognize. So my friend was like, yo ass, yo ass, starstruck, you talk that shit. Nigga, call yourself starstruck. Mm. I said, yeah. I said, there we go. That's the name. That's how I came to the name starstruck. I looked at it, it was marketable. Um, it's, it's promoting myself, it's very marketable. I went by Greg Creator Dealer Wiz. People be laughing at me now, Greg Creator Dealer Wiz. That's whack. First base, whack. I come with name with my personality, so I call myself Starstruck. I've been calling myself that since 1990, in the 95, 96. That's what's up. <laughs> you know? Uh, now, when I was seeing you was posted around too, you had a little uh, altercation with the radio stations back in the day, because I know I had my oh. little thing with uh, Eshaw back in the days. Um, we protest, I protested with him with the against the radio station. What happened? What happened? Um, my brother D. Gray had a single called "Sexy Day." We, my, my cousin Chuck Luck, executive produced our record on his label called Contender Record. He shot. He, we the only guys in Detroit shot ten thousand dollar video at the time. So we had a so we had a video, a professional video. We had we sold five thousand singles. JLB didn't want to play our record for shit. We selling more singles than whoever was out at the time. So we went down the rail stage. We met with a guy named Michael Sanders, the PD. PD, he he want he want to meet with us, Michael Sanders. 
So Kim James didn't want to meet with us. So it was, it was conspiracy theory to shut us down. You had Goon Squad hit record call, you know, uh, Shake That Make the Booty Bounce. You had Play School you slap that, that ass. You had, bounce, that make that booty yeah, bounce. Yep, you, you had Bombshell. You can't get what the Bombshell. You can't get the Bombshell. So we our record was selling damn near more than they records, but we all respect each other crap. You know what I'm saying? So basically, we threatened we threatened the PD. We threatened DJs. A DJ got I'm not going to say DJ who got choked up. But he really got choked up when my cousin choked him up. We looked at it like this. We give you give you give you our record every time we see you. Talk about you left the record at home. What type of DJ are you? So we took our frustration out on JLB to a point. We was beating up DJ, smacking DJ. We we I, I, we I have proof of a nigga. So at the time, Tyrone Bradley, you know, pioneer, called me on the phone. You can't do that. You'll get blackballed. And Gary Chandler intervened because um, me and my boys go fuck around, be the Michael Sanders program director. But what happened, you know, he he basically had he had, Michael Sanders have FOI protection, which I which I study Islam too. I ain't know that, so I had to stand down with that because I don't want to get into it. No, I'm part of the nation. I don't want to get into right. FOI. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when we got with what basically Gary Chandler was he was in the middle of Gary, Gary, Gary. I said Gary, I'm gonna fuck your boy up. So basically, we was gonna whoop his we whoop his ass at Family Fun Day. Well, come to find out, he had FOIs protecting him. Call my brother on the phone. I say, look. Oh boy, he got FRIs. I don't, I don't want to type of problems with those brothers. I, I study Islam. I know what they stand for. I would never yeah, be with my yeah, brother. Yeah, you don't want to. So I say no. Hey, hey, no. So my brother, they don't want to with the nation. No. They better uh, just put no. in water. So my yeah, brother told me stand down issue. And we eventually got a record played on radio after probably like five months. Our single sexy dancer finally got on JLB. It did real, real, real good attack. Let, let me let me say let me set the record straight too. I knew did an interview recently, good friend of mine, and your boy Relentless did an interview really. And my boy Six Four did an interview recently too. He they good people. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna break it down. I'm break it down. See, it was some it was some name left out. Now he did say our record, Sexy Dancer. He, that's my boy. But these are the records on JLB once upon a time. We can take it back to 1994. 94, they play AK record, Step Up Thickness. That was on JLB once upon a time, 94, step up thickness. Step up thickness, step up thickness. Step up thickness. Then you had, then you, they, they played instrumental, the Rock O.T. Big Booty Bitch. They played every mix show that was on radio constantly, the Rock O.T. Big Booty Bitch instrumental. They played on radio. Then you had COI, Cash, Cash, Rudy, and Angle Round. That was on radio. All right. Then you had Goon Squad, Booty Bounce. You had Play School Slap the Ass. You had Al New Out the Door. You had D.D. Great Sexy Dancer. You had a uh, relentless 6-4 record, um, that record they had out. So we had like between 94 and 96, we probably had 10 records on JLB rotation almost at the same time. So people will be able to say it's only four records. I counted probably eight to 10 records overall. But like I said, again, it's everybody's story to tell. So so basically, I forgot too, yeah, each shot record too. Oh, uh, bitch, you never walk your body. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ask somebody because I don't get so, told. Bitch, bitch, yeah. That was on Radio 2, 1996. So basically at the time, JLB only put, JLB had a top 40 list. There's only four records in rotation, probably from 1994 to 1996. And I know that I had a list already who was on radio, who wasn't on the radio. So if you're going to sit there and lie like that, I already know you're telling me a lie. So we are, the list I gave, like I say, Play School, Al New, Bombshell, Dita Gray, COI, Relentless, the Relentless Group, Al, um, you had um, Eshan, and that, that's what you had on radio. So so far back, I remember that. And then you had my boys um, exchange freaky. I'm freaky. 1993. I'm Doc freaky. Chill. It was, it was on radio. You you and you. So what you want to yeah. do? That's my record. That's my record. Good friend of mine. So we we had, we had a fight for our dis we had a fight for our respect for radio. We want to go pay nobody to play our record on the air. If you go play it, you get your ass whooped on fucking off site at the time. Because I looked at it like this: you ain't gonna take my record and play go play us like well, okay. It'll take that long to review a record. Okay, I'll give it a week or two. That's cool. But five, six weeks, why record? Why we want to play our record? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I had with JLB. I mean, people know hey, to this day. Like, hey, you sound like Willie D. Because Willie D was talking about yeah. how back in the day they used to have to beat up DJs and promoters yeah. to get that shit played. You, you, you ask anybody about the record pool meetings from Tyrone Bradley to DJ Little Rock and Hit House, you let them niggas know Starstruck, they can't that bitch play no fucking game. Relentless, of your boy 6'4 was next to me at a function. He watched me chit chat some DJs about not playing our rap. It was a monthly meeting every month. The DJ record pool was very important in Detroit hip hop in the 90s and 2000s. So for, for you to have a record that, that, that stands the test of time, 
and go to record pool first for radio. And it's like, they laugh you out of Tyrone Bradley's basement if it's whack, flat out. So you got to go back and start your record again. So, so like I said, we we brought the element of the men out of respect. That's true as hell. You ain't gonna play. You ain't gonna play these people's record. We selling more singles than any fucking body in the city at the time. And you won't give our record a fucking chance. And like I said, Gary Chandler stepped in, a good friend of mine. He facilitated everything. Was peace out and cool. So like I said, I don't play no games when come to radio. Niggas already know I'm playing no games with that radio shit. Shit, and it took me shine years to get to get played yeah. on the radio. Yeah. They which, which, which already, the and I respect Eshawn, and, and watch. I respect Eshawn's brother, James Smith. James Smith will never get response. His brother, James Smith, will have to oh, yeah. Shout out James Smith. Yeah, yeah. real James life, record, real life production. His brother, James Smith. Yeah, so that's how far back I go as far as that. And the radio, like I said, I have my wars for radio. I'm cool, everybody. It's only one person radio they don't care for. I don't know, see him like that no more. But like I said, I, we 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 stand the test of time. We we won the battle against JLB. We got we won it. We demand our respect. You know. Shout out Monty Cristo in the building. Said oh, legend. Well, Monty, that's, that's, that's a, oh, Monty, Monty Cristo. Cristo, that's a real nigga right there. That's a real nigga, Monty Chris. That the red, what up, red team? Red team. My Shout boy, out to red, red team. Red team. Monty Cristo, he reminds we red we, team. We, we, always like each other. we always in the building. Yeah, he, yeah, he worse than me. He that 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 dude got a lot of opinions. I'm like, you worse than me at that. I love that nigga <laughs> to death, Monty Cristo. Oh, I know, because you know Master Splinter and the Ninja Turtles, you know, decided to form like Voltron. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, that situation, you know, I know about, and I know about, I never met him, nothing like that. I heard stories about that person. Man, I know and it's that like, motherfucker, bro. I yeah, you, you know, him, you know. So I told Monty Chris, the reason why I really go hard on because I know of him. I see this show once or twice. But it's like he talked to be talking. He don't let his guests really get talk. He instigate a lot of situations, which kind of bold to me, my opinion. But like I said again, it's entertaining me. One thing about it too, like you said earlier, I'm, I'm gonna break it down real quick. If you from okay, you from you from Finkel, right? You from Finkel, correct? You from Finkel? Yep. And you from where? Southwest. Where, where you from, brother? I'm from Southwest. Southwest. I fuck with Southwest High School and I fuck with West High School. I fuck with all everybody yeah. in the city. You know what I'm saying? I fuck, uh, I, that's, I, this type, okay, so I, I used to fuck around 42nd Street. So that like me claiming 42nd Street because I went and visit. No, I'm a visit on 42nd Street. I would never claim Southwest Detroit. Y'all turf, y'all built. That's disrespect. I don't like dudes that, that because your mama dropped you off at your IT house on Finkel back in 1987. You can't claim right. Finkel like that. Because I, right. I start asking who are, who are, who are you know from Finkel? You don't say Big Ted. Big Ted's the mayor of Finkel. Not, back, back from Finkel, Wyoming. Oh, you fecal and oh my oh, I'm asking about different people on fecal. So if you can't say you can't you can't you can't claim a turf you're not from. You just a visitor. I don't I don't like right. that because you're not from a turf, do not claim a turf. Like I come see you in Southwest Detroit, you and do for your people in Southwest Detroit, right. uh, Western High School, Clark Park, I was Clark Park. What the fuck I know about Clark right. Park? I just told him any goddamn days, Clark Park. <laughs> you know, but yeah. I'm not gonna claim it because I'm a visitor of that of that of that turf. Because they they embrace me. I ain't gonna say, oh, I went to Western. I claim uh, Western neighborhood. Nah, nigga, please. I ain't from there. I ain't from there. The bottom line of it, I hate people that claim. I hate people that do that shit. Cause I had this with one little whack motherfucker. This one this white this, this, this white motherfucker go went with me you on know, Facebook a couple years ago. His mama dropped him on Finkel and Steel back in 1991. So he claimed people <laughs> Finkel. You from raw old, you from raw old homeboy. Right. Oh. So I believe in that theory. So that individual referred to, he want to claim he from he from Puritan, he from this way, that way. People know it's a lot. People knows that OGs knows it. You know, yeah, people knows it. Like especially when you from Arbor Hills talking and claiming yeah. to be true. From what I heard, that he getting called out now. They looking for him out there, but that it is what it is, man. I mean, he, he <laughs> yeah. you run. You and then, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about this real quick. Far Bizzino. Now, I'm I'm disappointed, Bizzino. I used to like the I used to Made me all my LOS in the night. They were tough to me. But this dude, he come to our city. He can't, he on, I hear, I hear, he on, on, on Finkel, clown on Finkel. I'm like, well, right. I say, what the fuck this shit come from? Uh, not the, no, he got something to get, no, he got to be with Eminem. That's cool. I respect it. But don't come to Detroit, right. put on a show, and you wait till the, you wait till nobody around to chin check you about it. It's a fucked up situation. Now, I know all my RS, the members of the group, and main man probably turned their back on Vizino many years ago. They probably don't like him to this day. 
We he fifty eight years old. You're nothing wrong with being cool, but dude, you just you 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 like you need to let him and them shit go. I mean, come on now, damn. You need to let that shit go, bro. That shit twenty something years <laughs> fucking old, bro. <laughs> It's like, damn, what you getting out of? you? And then you begging people for interviews. Like, I see then, you know, I'm laughing. I'm like, so you went from being worth $5 million, probably $5, 10000000 million for Source Magazine. You had money, you had jury, you had, that, that got a lot of money. And then you went down, you got, you you basically begging two podcast shows, might do interviews. I love to talk for free. Fuck it, I don't want no money. I, fuck it, I'm cool. I don't want no money. There'll be, probably something to eat in the future. Other than that, I'm cool. Hey, but you for you to what? do that, to try to pump. Benzino came at us. So yeah, us I wanted that he wanted to come on, right? We didn't approach him. He yeah, like I said, us. I disrespectfully declined. We released the uh yeah. that where he was snitching the shit he was writing. And we don't support that shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't fuck That's with crazy. And my thing about it, I love Detroit. I love every neighborhood in Detroit. I I, I tipped on the east side, southwest. West side where I'm from. It's, I, I love everybody. I'm not no hate dude because you from a certain neighborhood. We all as one. I'm glad we taking a stand against Benzino. Cause he he basically he, he been he been booed from Detroit. You call me disrespect Eminem's mother. Now, I knew I see Eminem maybe once or twice every showcase. We'll talk about every right. showcase a little later. But it's like you disrespect. Why don't you go to the hood do some good some hood do? You went to somebody restaurant where you safe at downtown <laughs> and do that dumb right. ass shit. And then, like, and then, 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 then met up with Master Splinter. It starts making, making like, a whole lot crazy. of sense now. He that's couldn't crazy. get on no Detroit I, shows. Not I, like no. If I'm beef off somebody like J, like Jason, let's say I'm beef out with you. I ain't gonna run to your mother, do something. Your mama do something to your ass, not your mother, your family, your kids. Right. Kids and mothers and fathers is bad. Now you can't you can't fuck with them. If I got beef, I got beef with Jason or King, I'm coming at you guys one on one, chin check you and say what I need to say. I ain't gonna disrespect your mother. I see her at the grocery store at Walmart somewhere and go, that's his mama. No, that's not a fair fight. That's not a fair fight. Now, if I chin check you, you don't say nothing back to me. You a bitch ass nigga to me. That means I, I was I was like you as a man. But I would never disrespect nobody, mother, father, or kid. Never. That's not my that's my fight up one day. That shit crazy. I, I'll be like, this dude come to town and get a pass over everybody neighborhood. You know? I'm like that all. <laughs> you know? Uh, that's crazy. Christopher Jordan at the top there, uh. He's from uh, Staten Island, New York. Uh, that's what my up, brother. Though? What up, though? No, Staten bro. Island. What's going on, man? What yeah. up, though? Wu 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 Tang forever met the man and yeah. and yeah. for oh, some yeah. D's, for some yeah. D's for yeah. Staten yeah. Island. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Shaheen, the rugged child. I know, I know, yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Right yeah. No, don't think, don't think. Cause yeah. I know Detroit hip hop. We can talk. We can talk about the tough crew. Always oh, steady, be cool. See, I'm universal hip hop dude. So, so I, I know about that. I, I've been through that maybe once or so. And I know about Shaheen, the rugged yeah. town, the foursome D's, legendary foursome D's. Legendary um, foursome D's. Come on, yeah. now they, I grew up with, I mean, Tinder Love. Oh, UMCs. Oh, yeah. UMCs. Yeah, UMCs. We had Cool Cam on here UMCs. for the UMCs. Fat Boys meet the foursome D's. I remember that record, 1985, yeah. 1986. Fat Boys meet foursome D's. I remember that record. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I've been a dude, I kept up with Detroit rap, I kept up with national rap. So I, I go far, I could talk about, I could talk about uh, King Just, King, I think King Just from there, right? King Just from there, King Just? King Just yeah, from Staten yeah. Island? Yep. King, yeah. Not just, I, King Just, not just, uh, just not, uh, King Just from there. So I could talk about regional hip hop all the way to AD Capone with the legendary group total. Yeah. Insane, well, I'm a fan of them motherfuckers. I'm glad yeah, I didn't him. him. Too. Man, yeah. in a minute oh, records. Well, you know, I got, uh, I got, fam you know, I got family yeah. in the Bay, so that's yeah. how I get yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? So I know about hip hop. I can talk, I can talk RBL Posse, all, all the way to Messi all the way to, all the way, all the way, all the way. Hey, bro, you should have seen when we be having Houston guests on, bro, because they be tripping because I be naming all the Houston rappers, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you if you if you study music in the 80s and 90s, you're going to remember stuff. Now, it's a memory bank. You know what I'm saying? So I made a point to remember a lot of people verbatim. I go on and on and on because I'm a fan of the music. I'm appreciate I appreciate the music foremost. So like I said, I appreciate you guys having me on today. I, I, I you see I've been promote I promote this motherfucker two straight months, almost two, two months on Facebook constantly. I mean, that's how that's how you do stuff the right way. Promote promotion number one key. Yes, if you got me, give me your you tell me on show, I'm gonna promote your show. And you right. know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of your show. 
Then you, I've been fan you show a fan of you um show, show for a while now. So most definitely, I've been, this is a great opportunity for me to talk my Detroit hey. shit, my national stuff. I'm gonna do hey, whatever. You know, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, hey, you know, I got first born from Iron Fist. He be tuning in. Yeah, shout out to yeah, you. Um, I'm gonna talk about Big Proof real quick. Big Proof, rest in peace, Big Proof. Yeah, we bring up Proof. Rest in peace, Big Proof forever. Big Proof. Uh, Big Proof, my good, good, good friend of mine since 1994, hip hop shop. And I remember before he passed away, he wanted my brother to sign D the Great Side with record, record Iron Fist Records in 2000 and maybe four. We was talking MCA during that time. And we we go back from the Ebony Showcase days all to the hip hop shop days. So we generally good friends. So when Deshaun passed away, I went to his funeral. I was very sad about it. And, and like I say, Deshaun's good people. Proof is good people to me. That dude was silly as hell. He tried to bite you and fight you. I slam, I slam for everybody from the Ebony Showcase outside. We, that's my friend. You know him and my boy DJ Head. Produce, let Jay produce DJ Head. Kevin, that's my old boy. Man. Jumping on people bags, biting on them like they like he a T Rex. Yeah, and shit. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fucking around slept with nowhere at this time. But I love Big Proof to death. Everything he stood for. He's he, he one of the best battle rappers from Detroit. Him and Super MC, you know, Super MC, Super MC, Airborne, um, Live Manifest, all the way to um, Big Gov. Um, them legendary MC from the Ebony Showcase. I'm naming um, E Dub from um, E Dub. E dub E dub from Finkel, they made games to games MCA records two thousand one. That's my homeboy this year, huh? You know what I'm saying? So my cash. So that's right. Do not that's ask. right. That's right. That's right, baby. So it just you know I I'm enjoying this moment. I'm I'm smiling. I'm still smiling. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Starstruck really in so. the building. Detroit hip hop history. That's what. We got Chester McFly in the building, one of our homies from Philly. He said he's, he's learning a lot about Detroit hip hop right now and shit. Like, what that's up, what though? they looking ahead. What up, though? What up, though? I'm going to shout out real quick. I'm going to say what's up, my boy um, Lee Snipes, producer, my boy Kenny Flavor from Detroit, my old boy Tone Scott, better known as AK. My AK. boy Mike Move from the East Side. Mike Move from the East Side. Um, El Nuco, producer. What is that? El Nuco, producer. Yeah, yeah, our new producer, oh, Mike, oh, Moore, Mike Moore, great Moore. producer. Good Mike Moore, great producer. producer. What's up, my man, hell of a hell of a been on the, on the grind last 10 years. Hell of a dope producer. I mean, so many producers I actually like, appreciate the, the music they got going on. So I like the new I like the new wave of music, too. So, man, I, I got to give them some quick shout out because I fuck I around forget their names. I'm like, damn, you know? <laughs> That's why you give a shout That's out so. to everybody. I give a shout out to everybody. You know? Yeah, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I've been blessed to meet me in the music business. Like I say, I came out as a, I came as a DJ first. Then I went to become a hype man. I became a producer. Now, now I'm an executive and a consultant now. I still produce records. But like I say, I've seen them come and go uh, since the 80s and 90s, you know? So I'm just proud to be in the music business. I, I like doing interviews. I'm very selective about doing podcast interviews. But I had to do this one because y'all y'all on fire right now. I'm like, we appreciate it. I got my, I got my first deal. I was in, I was barely in high school, bro. Okay. Barely in high okay. school. And the reason why we got scooped up, because me and my, my homeboy Casper, my man was like, y'all remind me of a young Nottis, a young e, a young Esham and a young Nottis. Okay. And we ended up. Oh, okay. I remember when I got so, my, uh, my first record deal. Up, uh, the name of the group was called Scream. The name of the group is called Scream. Cause if we okay. had our, if we had our homie uh Kurt from Batlam, okay, he would man he he <laughs> talks about that tape to this day, bro. Like I don't even have a fucking copy of that. Yeah, I mean that that's that's kind of that's kind of sad, but you know we 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 was young, we didn't think about saving a whole bunch of stuff at the time. Yeah, like I said, yeah. I was like barely in high school when that shit went oh, down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I for just sure. I, I have a, I have a great appreciation for music. I love music, you know, I really do. Oh really shit, do. the S Dub. Remember that group from Southwest S Dub Connection? I remember oh, that. Yeah. Remember, I remember, I remember about them. I remember about them. I mean, we go on and on about this, man. I can just go albums, on and on. The albums used to be called. So let's talk album. about this because it's and kind of trending album. right now. It's hot right now because. What up, though? Exactly. We we got so because there's a trending topic. You know, it's kind of hot right now because you know. Esham, shout out Esham, but uh, and shout out his brother, uh, dead boy James Smith. James Smith. Uh, yeah. But uh, 
Yeah, uh, you know, he was just on old boy uh, show, Kid yeah, Tell. Tell. <laughs> yeah, Baby Vlad. And he uh, went ahead and uh, said that, you know, he started Detroit Hip Hop. And it's always been arguably, like, who put it on the mat? Like, we had Awesome Dre on here, you know what I'm saying? And awesome Dre, <laughs> one of the guys. We've had, like, a lot of legends. I mean, you can, it's debatable. Like, who do, who do you think, like, what would you put as, like, the top five that started, like, Detroit Hip Hop? Like put it I out. Gotta do top ten, man. I gotta, I gotta do okay. top ten. Top, top ten, ten top no ten. All right. You gotta do. You gotta do, do top ten. And Eshan is yeah. in that top ten for the yeah, simple. He, is. he was like the first I'm Detroit a... nigga. You go to L.A., you see his posters. You go to the Bay, you see his posters. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know what? Eshan's brother. Eshan, Eshan's brother. They did Detroit hip hop was amazing. They they figure out the independent game very early. While we try and get major deals, they put that on records on 1989, 1990. Eshan's brother James Smith. So I agree. I only met I only met Eshan maybe one time in passing back in the day. But I I agree, I agree to respect for Eshan. What that dude did, he's a he's a fucking genius to me. That him and his brother, they was fucking genius at the time. Because yeah. we'd have thought doing that during that time, I probably rich as hell. But most definitely, Eshan's on my list. Detroit most wanted because what Detroit most wanted did for hip hop. Yeah. They had videos. They would have videos that were number one on the box during that time. City of Boom. Right. Put the suckers to boom. sleep. The money is made. Yeah. I mean, they they was on they was they was on they was on Itchy Band Records, Brian Records. So Detroit most wanted. Eshan, Detroit most wanted. Prince, Prince Vince, we did for Gangsta Funk. That Detroit anthem. Everybody loved yeah. Gangsta Funk by Prince Vince and made Force be with you. Hey, and they was on Polly Grand Monkey Records. Hey, we can't. Yeah, uh, Kay Lee, that might Kay have been Lee, on. Hey, Kaylee ICP out because they was around. I'm gonna say this. I never met those. I never met those dudes to this day. And like I said, I respect those guys because they figured the independent game out very early. Well, you know they, they was following. They, 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 well, you know they was following Eshan. Eshan, and they 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 they, 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 they deal with jive records. They deal with Hollywood basic records later on. But them guys, I never met those dudes. But what they did for independent game, they figured stuff out. They got nothing but they have, they have nothing but my respect, you know. I say I can't say anything about bad about those dudes because hey, you know, they, 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 you know you gotta respect the hustle, you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, Whether you like him or not, and shit. You know they got yeah, a group. Yeah. I ain't and, know that. Eshaan and I ain't Bible, know they that. They've been touring that man. They've been touring together for years. Yeah, they still. Now I put Austin Dre on the because I, I mean Awesome Dre. I was 17 years old, and and, and the fair lane mall, my brother D the Great, listened to them talk about Islam stuff and passing. I was quiet. I was quiet listening for Nas and Wiz. Also, Dre, he did for Detroit. He's a part. That dude, flat out, basically is Detroit king to me as far as what he did for Detroit hip hop. He one of the first. He one of the first artists that put Nash records out national. First artist got a record on BET, Rap City, along with Smiley. Yeah. I'm not friendly on Rap City. What he did for Detroit hip hop was amazing to me. And I said, I, I love Austin Drake. I tell him that every time I see him, I say, thank you, my brother, for paving the way for me. Because it wasn't for oh, him. Yeah, and, Maestro. Can't Karen, get about Maestro. Him. Then, then you we got my girl, Maestro Nikki. Nikki. Now, we got yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, then you had, um, there's like, then you have like, um, then, then a couple of new people. I, some new people I see like, they, they make my list. They, I have due respect for some new artists too. Yeah, it paves the way too. The you know? Can't forget about the homie Dice. Oh, oh come on now, Dice, 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 my cousin by marriage actually, Mr. Sure. Dice. Hold on to my bumper. Yeah, that's our fan. What yeah. up, dog? Yeah. That's my cousin yeah. by marriage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. like a nympho, knock the boots in the back seat. Yeah, my tempo. They know it's all. Good. You know it's kind of funny. Apart. You know it's kind of funny. I, I got a Dice story. I got a Dice story real quick. All Dice, right. my cousin by Dice, my cousin by marriage. He'll sit there and tell you this. He want I, I gave him, he want I'll try to get some beats from him back in 2005, right? And I, I'm, I'm a guy he changed his style, so I gave him the beat CD. He, he used to be on my street back in the day, and so he was like, "Man, this shit remind me of Kanye West shit. I can't rap on that type of Kanye West type of beat. He got the samples, and I was like, I'm thinking this shit dope as hell. And I'm like, I respect his opinion. And think about Dice. I I, ne I never went to none of his shows. I see them on YouTube. That dude got a following, a cult, a cult yeah, like Dice. Yeah. We rock like, with Dice. I did, I did a lot of shows with Dice. I, I hey, stayed bro, with Dice. You're talking to one of his hype men. You're talking to oh, one so of his hype <laughs> So next time you, next, next time I asked about Starstruck, he was like, that, I, told, I shot him down in 2005. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Dice, that's our home. Yeah, that's shout that's out Dice. Boy. 
Yeah, you know our other guest who ain't our co-host who ain't here right now, uh Black Tony Ty. He he's uh having problems right now. Shout out Black Tony Ty. He was a uh, uh when he came to Detroit, he's from me. Tucson, Arizona. But he, he grew up on Awesome Dre and E Shaman. It's crazy how Detroit hip hop hit, you know what I'm saying, down there in Tucson, Arizona and shit, like all over the world back then. Like in the eight late eighties and mid like eighty eight, eighty nine, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And it was like so and Jack Frost, Jack Frost, another one we had on here three times. Man, remember the St. Ives commercial? Shit. I grew up around the corner from him. Him with Mercy the Mill, okay. Then then you have my homeboy Cootie High's on beat death for beat death for Poncho. Come on now, rest in peace, beat death for Poncho. You know what I'm yeah. Rest yeah. in peace, J you know, to the D. You know what I'm saying? J to the D. Rest rest in peace, my boy Big Dog. What up, though? Because he's big dog, big dog, rest in peace. Daniels video music. It's the big dick dog on your ass. That's like Steve broke the bleed from the blast. No, oh, yeah. Robert that De- Robert Dan was ahead of his time for Rap City came in the fold. I used to, I used to watch some of the shows on tape. People from New York oh, used to yeah. give me some Robert Daniel show from the eighties and so forth and nineties. He, he, that show was popping for real. Yeah, I felt like I need to live in New York more yeah. that time. Yeah, Robert, I know Robert Daniel was there. Three thirty, three thirty in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, man. What yeah, I like so, about what was so dope about Rap City back in the day. <laughs> That's how I found out about a lot of underground hip hop from Rap City. Even though Detroit, we was getting a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Rap City gave them underground artists that voice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Out that, that, that platform. Because right. I'm, I've, been, I've been a national artist, but like I say, these people about the name. I love I love Black Moon, Smith & Wesson, Health of Skelter. Oh, I they, love that's underground to me. I love them. I, I love who grabs the props. I love who my gets the props. Who, who gets the props? Who got the props? Got the props. Uh, that, that record was hot to me. Black They're Moon, Slipper shot, Western, yeah. Helter Skelter, OG, OGC. They, 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 yeah. they had the that underground music. Yeah. The original Gun Clappers. The original Gun Clappers. So I could talk about natural artists. I could talk about undercover artists. I'm universal. Yeah. I'm not one-minded. Trust me. We could talk. We call hip hop all goddamn day. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, shit, we had uh, Big Herc out here, and we was talking about, uh, like, Detroit. And right now, it seems like Detroit hip-hop is, like, on top of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it seems like... But then we had, like, Mark Hicks. Shout out Mark Hicks, too. We had him out here. He, yeah. He's talking about Michigan. It's Mich- You got to call it Michigan hip-hop now, because now you got a lot of rappers from, like, Flint. And, well, you always had Flint, Dayton family. Shout out Dayton family. Uh, rest in peace, Bree. You know what I'm saying? Top authority, Top all them. Authority, uh, faces of death, my man Swift D. But Pontiac. And, and, and speaking, shout out Pontiac. And speaking of Mark and, Hicks. Yeah. Speaking of Mark Hicks, Mark Hicks always been good, good, good people to me. Mark Hicks, one of the smartest guys I actually know in the music business in the 90s. That dude, Mark Hicks, is amazing to me. I mean, we always, we always cross paths. And, you know, I talk shit on Facebook. He understands me. We both Capricorns. So Mark Hicks, he's, he's one brilliant individual. One of one, one, Smartest, brilliant individuals ever to come in the music business. Mark Hicks, my boy, my boy Tita Pimp, Pomoe Extraordinaire, Tita Pimp, Katrina Johnson, Steve Pimp. Angel. Tita Pimp. I, 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 I text Tita Pimp this morning. I'm, I'm on the show. I Tita used Pimp, to work with Tita Pimp and Mark Hicks. Me and my guy, Brother Rock Sykes. We used to work for yeah, them. Tita, Tita Pimp, my great friend. That's, that's, my, that's my, I love Tita Pimp. I love, Ter- I love Terrence to death. He know how I feel about matter him. Fact, that's my fact, Tita buddy. Pimp is my, uh, T the Pimp is my homeboy. I used to cool um produce for me. That's his cousin. Oh, see, I love I, I love T the Pimp. I like him. Katrina Johnson, Street Angels, good promoting extraordinaire. I go on and on about it. So most definitely Mark Hicks is a great visionary. I don't know why Mark Hicks, I don't know why Mark Hicks is not a president of a label. I I I like, dude, you probably be running, you probably be running F Jam before uh, Paul Rosenberg. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, for real. You know, but he good people, man. So I, I, I could vouch for Mark Hicks. He's good people. And hey, I say, the new way Detroit, the hey, new way Detroit really people. Because, uh, you know, Paul Rosenberg didn't even want to fuck with Eminem back in the day. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he didn't, he, Paul, 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 Paul didn't really like me. He don't like really like me too much, you know. But it's, and it's, Paul it's what white, it is. We, and Paul was a white rapper, but he didn't, but he, he wouldn't he take didn't make it. Eminem. But he wouldn't he take make Eminem. It. Cause he was saying white rappers this, white rappers that, but look what happened. My thing about it, hip hop don't have a color to me. If you dope, you hell dope. no. And that's the case. Nah. That's, that's the case. Then that 
that's the case then let's talk about the original everlast not the house of not the not the everlast now everlast was dope to the ice tea rhyme syndicate that dude was Look, dope to me i got oh, the oh, yeah i got the neck you had him you had milbone you had third base i mean they always tell they will they, hip hop don't have a color to me. All right, I, all right, the rugged man, rugged and rugged, he was dope too. So, I understand that people want to talk about some like skin color. As long as you make universe music that have the mass appeal, accept it. You know, hip hop is universal. I've been I've, I've better said that back in the 80s, hip hop is universal, except that all forms of style. Just, just like, just like, just like in the 90s, I fucking hated tag team whoop that is. That's a hit song. I can't deny it. That, 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 that's a basketball game, football game, baseball game. I fucking hate Whoop Dead is. That's the, that record blew up. I had none respect to that team. That's, I did not like that team. Man, them dudes recorded like that. that. Them dudes recorded that record like four different yeah. times, bro. Because yeah. my man yeah. wasn't. Because my man wasn't uh, <laughs> wasn't satisfied with the first with the first version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I mean, so hip hop is universal. Because hip hop don't have no color skin to me. You could be like, like Mexican rappers. Shout love Kid Frost La Rosa. That's my shit still. Oh, yeah, Melamed yeah. A. Bro, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an SPL fan. I love South Park Mexican. He said, he said, I think he got out of jail recently. He got out of jail. I think he got released recently. South Park Mexican. He was in oh, jail. He's not jail now. Yeah. So hip hop don't have no color. Man, I bump SPM on a regular basis, bro. The only, the only ones I didn't like, I ain't like, I ain't like young black teenagers. I ain't like they did. No, they was one of these, bro. Cause I ain't got no problem. With I seen them live on the uh, Run DMC King of Rock tour. I ain't got a problem with white rappers, but when you a white white rap group and you calling yourself young black teenagers, I I like their name. I, I mean, they they can rap their ass off. I like the fucking name. I'm like, okay, I still Chuck D gave him that name. You gave him that name. He ain't feel over that shit. But that's what I'm saying. Hip hop universal. Hip hop have no color last to me. You could be Mexican. For me to like Kid from La Rosa, for me to like Cypress, I shit, I look, I love Cypress Hill. They shit, they got, they do a hell of a fine show. DJ Mugs, you know, they do. Be real, you know. I like them I dudes. See, so hip hop have color line. I see them on tour with ICP. Now, shall, I never see them in concert. I lose my mind if I see them in concert this day. So hell yeah. So like I got I'm having fun talking about some music shit today. We come on, bro. come let's yeah, talk. Yeah, we should. Uh... <laughs> Speaking of Chuck D, we brought up Chuck D. What you think about the uh that movie uh the untold uh stories of Detroit hip hop? About, um the one with um oh, I forgot his name. Champ Town yeah. produced it. Who? Champ Town. Yeah, okay. Champ Town, he good people. Um I put I put Benny, I put Benny in it actually. Um I like it because he found Robert S. He found DJ Head. He found some people that could be found. So it it was well produced to me, but I think it should be it should be an updated version, a newer version, eventually to the untold story. Cause like I said again, DBGs don't get no fucking flowers. I'm looking like Larocco T. I'm looking at like even Al New. Al New just getting some shine now, but we like these untold heroes to me that paved the way for Detroit hip hop. And it's like people people have a way to divide and conquer. And I'm gonna talk about that real quick, cause I cause it's I think I get me pissed off a lot. I'm sick and tired every time some people talk about hip hop shit. They talk about the shelter. They talk about um the shelter, the lush. Nobody talk about every showcase. The uh showcase. C no C no lounge. C no lounge. That's what I was thinking about. The feet of bankers on each side. Because what happened on Timbo's. Timbo, Timbo, because I was the host of every showcase at the um, original every showcase in 1995, hosted by my man um, Ecor and Wolf. They ended up stepping down. Proof took it over in 1995-96. At them and Mark Hicks and them, they ended up quitting the spot. I took over as host in 1997. I, that's, the, that's the time you had E-Dub, you had Royce the 5 People come yeah. in there every fucking week doing their song. But every time somebody do a documentary, they don't never mention every showcase. That's why I'm popping from 1995-1999, for, for almost five years. You had Eminem came, you had Eminem come in there. Did he did showcase one time? Like um, Eminem came in there. You had um, J to the D before he passed away. He came in there. Okay. So right. every showcase is a West Side spot on Seven Mile, but they'll never get no fucking announcement. Hey, only me. Right. And, 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 yeah. since, and since we on this subject, you can't talk about Detroit hip hop and not bring up video vibes. Bill, Bill vibes, my man Tucson with the good with the good ass hair, good ass wavy yeah. hair. Can't, you can't you can't forget about video you can't forget about video requests. 
Yeah, that, that's true. Video request. Yeah, that's true. Sean, the, the video go go Sean P, right? Video go go Sean P? That might be video go go. Yeah, so I just, like I say, I'm enjoying talking about Detroit music history. We go on and on and on and on, you know? Oh, yeah. So most oh, definitely, so, I'm enjoying I'm, this. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm over here. I'm over here learning a whole bunch from the. Hey, you definitely can't forget about the Brotherhood Club. Brotherhood Club too. Yeah, that's why I was popping. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the midst of writing. I'm writing a tell-all book about Michigan hip hop. Very, very soon, I'm writing a book. I'm getting paid for it. I put stories in there from 1985 all the way to probably 2000, maybe five. I'm writing my own book about the untold Detroit hip hop story. I'm going back and get. I'm talking about the unsung heroes like such as you okay. Had to deal with profile records, 1991. I'm talking about Robert S. Why he stopped? Why he stopped rapping? He, you know, he does he does stuff in Congress right now. Robert S. Now he does. They get back to the kids now. So I'm writing a tell-all book about Detroit history. So don't be surprised. You guys might be in the book because y'all understand Detroit history. You from New York, so you you embracing it. Right. I love it. You know. So my job, my job, my job yeah. is to help. My job help educate people about the music business and far what Detroit went. We are at today. Before D12 came, before Obi Trice came out, before Eminem came out, talk about people in the eighties, early nineties. You you had people like Eddie D. You had Audie D. You had Tyson and Woody. You had Tyson and Woody. You had Tyson and Woody. No, you didn't bring up Eddie D, bro. Eddie D. Cash Money. I played that earlier today. You know Eddie D. You know Eddie D. Changed his name. Yeah, well, he called himself something. I met him at I met him at Fort Picnic last year. Yeah, I met. I met I met four people. I just and he did, I, you know. You know what I'm saying? Because he made this song called "Banging on Wax" when he was going off on Smiley. Click clack click clack. Yeah, yeah, I remember that record. Remember that record. But like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Detroit hip hop historian, and I'm gonna say I study Detroit. And like I said, I made sure beside Detroit, I know about East Coast hip hop. I know about South West Coast. We can we can flip it right now. Let's talk about Ario Posse. Let's talk about Matt Ball. Let's talk about E40. Let's uh, yeah. talk about Me Legit. Come on, oh, now. Let's oh, talk about man, y'all want to go there with the bank, bro. Man, yeah, I know. Yeah, we had Black C on here. We had Black yeah, C on here. Black, uh, I had Capone. I'm a man, I'm as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, DJ ADR, the DJ ADR from the Polynesian Posse, who started that group, the Triple Six, in the Bay, is actually my big brother. Go. Okay, then let's yeah, the shout out to Miami. Bay. Let, let, let's go down. Let's talk about my boy Prince Rakeem. Let's talk about um Jam Pony and Spread. Let's talk about B Master Clay D. I know, I know about oh, I know about something about two. I don't win a motherfucking cup. Uh, so me and man. the boys can get fucked up. 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 A bitch ain't nothing but a bitch. Bitch. See, see, I made I made sure I study all music. So when I talk that old East Coast, I go East Coast, West Coast, oh, yeah. Midwest, South. I, I'm universal. My mind, my mind, my computer. Somebody actually asked us. Bro, I was a Clay D and the Get Funky Crew fan, bro. Get Funky Crew. Yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, they said. Gucci Boys. Is the Bay, like the Bay and Detroit got kind of the same sound, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of linked up. DJ Kizzy Rock, bro. They don't know about that. Kizzy Rock. Yeah, Kizzy Rock and them. Like I said, I study all, I make sure I learn all music so nobody won't get me stuck in conversation. I know about East Coast. I start by like East Coast first. Get on my face. Any of my people in Atlanta. But see, I, I'm Wait from the air. I'm from, I'm from the air, like, I'm a, I'm a hilltop hustler fan. Ooh, ooh. Daddy P, who's cool The glamorous life. Cheese, my favorite girl. Dope. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I came I'll under that, under that wing. That's the you won't see no dividends. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. World's very yeah. different now. Yeah, that's right. The Steve Soul for Connecticut, rest in peace. The Skinny Boys from Connecticut, rest in peace. Skinny Boys. Skinny Boys. Skinny yeah. Boys. Yeah. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way to uh, the World Class Record Crew in La Soul and LA Dream Team West Coast. Hey, we had Alonzo Williams. Speaking of, we had Alonzo Williams on. <laughs> yeah, Alonzo. I, I know what. I like Alonzo from the movie. He's funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want these niggas thinking about fucking and pussy. <laughs> you need to get back to the love song. Get, get Speaking of Lazo, you know he's the one who put. Uh, he, he's really the one who brought DOC to NWA. You know what I'm saying? Lazo was the one, and we got DOC coming up Saturday night. And that's, that's who brought. Cool. I make sure I tune in. Yeah, I make sure I tune in for the show, man. That's crazy. That is crazy. But no, I'm, I'm having fun talking about this. I'm randomly talking about people that I remember. I'm gonna tell a quick story about Al New. Now Al okay. New, that's my motherfucking dog. Al New, he. 
big time movie star, big time movie director now. But I'll tell a quick story about Al New. I love him to death. Back in Mandy's on East Side in 2005, right? So I remember a, a local writer wrote a, a local writer wrote a bad review about New's album during that time, right? So that the writer the writer got caught in the bathroom. They locked the door in Mandy's bathroom. Al New like seven hit henchmen. They confront the little writer by giving him a bad review. Now, if you get if you get somebody a bad an album bad review, you you supposed to call a person first, let them know if you don't want it be printed, they will print it. This dumb motherfucker coming, Mandy's thinking some, uh, whatever a, a hip hop show. Al knew his boys called in the bathroom and they locked the door. They're about to beat this, they about to beat, beat this writer up. I knocked on the door like, well, why they got the damn bathroom door locked? I said, what? <laughs> I said, what? They opened the door. I said, I said what's going on? We 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 got this, we got this writer. He gave me a bold review. We're, I was like, I said, homeboy, oh you gave my man, you gave, I said, homeboy, oh give my man bad review, man. You're supposed to call, contact him first before you print in the magazine. I say, I say, you don't believe that nigga alone. Let that nigga go home, man. Shit. Well, he ain't nobody you. So I told, I told a little writer, you, you got five minutes to leave him out of here. Now, we, I gave you a pass. Now, these seven niggas gonna fuck around with your ass, you stick around. But the writer them leaving the fucking um, man, he's real quick. I say, little writer's life. I knew, I knew he played no game. He showed seven his instruments. <laughs> I, the writer got caught in the bathroom. Yeah, they locked, they locked the door. The little writer. I seen Al New battling you know from the. I was in the joint in Marquette in 2002. Okay. I seen him battling. Welcome uh, home, MTV brother. Welcome and home. Shit. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Welcome home. Yeah. Yeah. I just seen another joint with homeboy. But uh, I seen Al Nuke on MTV battling on uh, and he was a uh, roasting old boy on that show. What was that battling show? They had they had a battle rap show. I think Sway was the uh, was the host of it. On MTV. Is that the LL Cool J show they got out now? Is that the same one? I don't know what that could be. Yeah, that karaoke LL Cool J joint they got out. They now. had some kind of battle rap, but Al Nuke, I think he yeah. won that shit. But he was, uh, I know he was one of the finalists for sure and shit. But uh, yeah, it, it was dope to see that, like a Detroit artist on a platform like that, because you ain't that see is. that as much. You know what I'm saying? And it, I knew yeah, then they was out there though and shit. But uh, shit, did you ever get That's the? Cool. Uh, Honor to work with uh Blade Icewood, rest in peace. Who? Uh Blade. Icewood. Blade? Yeah, Blade Icewood. Oh, my, nigga. My, my nigga Icewood. That's my nigga for yeah. real. Um well, um, I I I, I fuck with the street Lord. I'm an affiliate member of the group. You know, I've been around brother for yeah. since day one. Rest in peace, Fat Mike, rest in peace, Yacht, rest in yeah. peace, uh, rest in oh, peace. Cool. Um I got to start real quick. Yeah, um, my boy, my boy, uh, Juan back home, of course. Blade was a good people. I love Blade to death. You know what I'm saying? Blade is my my dude. And uh, what, speaking of Blade, um, if I did a record, Blade set it up for Jesse James. The record, actually, the, the instrumental went to Blade Icewood first, but he was he just he he was he wasn't really ready for that type of record. So Blade had the original version. Of Blade set up instrumental first before it got to Jesse James. So um, me spending time with Blade, because he that might run me around the fold, him and my boy Conrad of Street Lords. You know, I was I was always around dudes every day. And so it made me like a little member of the group, which I, I rep that street, I rep Street Lord shit to death, regardless. You know, everybody got yeah, yeah. solo stuff going on. People got family, my boy G Rock, what up G Rock? What up, baby L? What up, K D Z? I love K D Z the K D Z. Shout out Kato. Um, Kato, what up, uh, STL Wine? What, what, what up, Street Lord Rook? Rook? Rook is a great uh, movie director. Now I got good movies on my boy Street Lord. Street Lord I Rook, I, I love Rook. Yeah. yeah, so people, we still we still got some shit popping, but everybody do their own thing. But the record Blade set up went to, um, really, really went to Blade Icewood first. Blade didn't get to it in time. He passed away. So the record ended up going to, um, uh, went to um, Lil Scrappy at um, Lil John concert. I mean, the, 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 him and them cons 2005 and what happened he wasn't ready for that type of record then it went to Tony L from G Unit the uh, Blade set up instrumental they probably gave, they probably gave me 5000 for the beat they never came and gave me the money my nigga just came out of jail he said he said I'm doing a record for Icewood and so I flipped him the beat we we went to the studio we did a record for our force became an anthem Detroit anthem it, I mean Blade set up people walking around with Mike Mike said what up, Earl said what up, off a of record we done in 2005, 2006. That's how far back we go with the record. So a record took off very quickly. They play a record, play seven at clubs and bars, people lose their mind. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's, that's, that, that, that record top 10 Detroit great, great singles ever to me. I, I, I'll argue to death. I've been at bars and clubs about that. But I never had a chance to work with Blade because Blade passed away 
And originally, I put, he put, he put, I put signed on with his label Icewood um, Entertainment as producer, but he passed away. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm still I'm still sad about Blade passing and Yacht Black passing. In fact, Mike passed the Street Lords to this to this day. What they built for the city of Detroit. Street Lord Cheddar Boy forever, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah no, so, I, so I definitely seen uh, Street Lords was showing mad love when uh, the flyer was circulating and shit. The Street Lords was uh, yeah. showing love. Yeah, Street, 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 Street Lords, a 15 member group. With so many members of the group. You had my boy, we had my boy Big J, my boy Black. Um, You had Baby L, one best kept secret, Baby L. He's dope. Yeah, he's dope on the lyrics. You had Lil Cuz. You 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 had TJ, TJ the Thug, um, Jesse James, a nephew in the group. You had Lady Blade with Steve Do 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 She affiliate. She's still group, group Lady Blade. Yeah. Better known Tiffany Blade. She's she Blade's yeah. high school niece. Then you had you 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 had Street Lord Rook. You had of course Juan. I mean you so many members of the group. And you got a couple producers. Myself, my boy. You got you got to get J O'Neal on the show. My boy J O'Neal. He he, oh, he yeah. did he did all uh, Juan stuff. J O'Neal. You give him on the show. J O'Neal. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, most definitely. Like, my boy, Rook, was so my boy, dope, man. Like even now, yeah. it's like even not like even back in the day when the East West and everybody's a chill back in the in, in the in the scene in the cut. There's always go to house parties and stuff like that back in the day and know each other. But now oh, it's yeah. not even like that, man. You know, you don't even know if these <laughs> MCs don't even know each other no more, man, at all. Because you know everybody, I mean? everybody divide and conquer. That people don't want to be around certain people. Like I, if I'd have met you back in the day, Jay Gunner, we we we've been great friends because I'm accepted to everybody. I've never been funny acting. I've been around true hip hop dudes that spit. I've been around hardcore rappers that spit. I've been around whack rappers that spit. If you if you a rapper, if you we 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 bond, we we gonna be friends. Right, I don't give right. a fuck what type of style you. I'm gonna help you get you at. So I'm accepted. I, mean, I always been accepted to people. Right, real talk, Jay Gunner. Was yeah. my homie before we even started rapping together. Yeah, yeah. 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 So all this divide and conquer. I'm divided and conquer don't make a lot of sense when we around certain people and people scare me around niggas. And think about it, people don't really like me because I'm very intimidated. I, I speak my truth. Everything I spent, everything I spoke today was the truth. That's I, that's right. how I relate to stuff. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say nothing like I'm not gonna talk like this. Hey y'all, what's going on? <laughs> like, nigga, 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 because 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 that's how you have to sell yourself. Because I accept everybody's music. I don't give a fuck. You you, you can walk around with a suit on, rap off on goddamn day. You talent, you talented me. The problem with Detroit people, even New York people, it's so much divide and conquer. People don't want to be all certain people. Damn, we try, we trying to make it too. Right. Yeah. All that stupid ass shit. So I never, I never had an ego. I respect the people. I, I respect who they really are. I'm, I'm very, I'm very loving. I'm very compassionate to people's feelings. I'm not gonna hurt you. Now you say some shit about me. I'm gonna destroy you. But other than that, we gonna be cool. We gonna be cool and cordial because all that dissing shit. Well, well, I'm getting out this. I'm gonna get out dissing you. Nothing but bragging rights. Bragging rights ain't we all grown men. Right. To be grown men, we gotta elevate ourselves to, to show you how to do music correctly. The problem with the music now, don't get me wrong, that's some tiny Detroit rappers that, that from from fucking from Babyface Ray, the fucking Peasy, the um uh, Ike Vezo, they they are successful to me. But some new some new people, they don't know nothing about no contracts, and they think they think they sell they think they sell fifty thousand street, they rich as fuck. Fifty thousand street and but fucking three hundred dollars at that. The same yeah. game got the are, are fucked up now because penny it paid seven zeros and one cent. That you gotta get so many to get one string. The numbers don't lie. So if I sell I so I do I do two hundred I do two hundred million strings, I only go grow thirty thousand after taxes. That's only eighteen thousand. Somebody foot lock make more money than you. Right. So, so the bottom line of it, we gotta show these people how to do music correctly. Get get I mean they need to bring they need oh, to bring yeah, back yeah, um yeah. You know they went to court about that. They raised the uh, they yeah. they raised the rate. They had to. Yeah. Now, I hate Break to see the air played out because because see the air to see the air. You can't keep track of sales no more. See the air is gone. So it it, it fuck up for the new artists coming out. They're trying to get trying to get get the crowd. You got you got you got pinned on shows and merchandising now and shit, which is kind of messed up. But like I said again, it's us to be the older G's. We got to show the youth how to do music correctly. Let them know not sign bad contracts. Let them know. How to do shows correctly? Let them know how to know how to talk to people when you meet people. You people 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 rely on you for 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 confidence. You can't be yeah, arrogant. Yeah. You got one hit song. You be arrogant toward people. No, no, let, no. Let, so let, us, let, yeah, us you got to let them. You got to let them know their worth. You got to let them know their worth, man. Us being older people, we got to set the example for the youth and let them know yeah. we here for you. I mean, I I appreciate Big Hurt and his son, Hurt Junior, Hurt Big Little Hurt. 
what they did for music, her told show his little boy how to do it, and they, they success to me. So Yo, that's what we need to work. try to do. We we gotta be more pioneers to the youth because the youth are so fucking twisted. They think they think they think five thousand streams make some money. They ain't no damn money in me. Right. She ain't no fucking money. The bottom yeah. line of it, we got to educate these people. Cause I've been in record companies, and I'm I'm gonna talk about this for a second. Record companies, record companies want to sign artists between eighteen and twenty nine. They they cause they know they go for anything. They, they go sign major label can't run no game no money thirty five forty years old. Right. We gonna get lawyers. We gonna get consultants. No, they they get the youth. Because I've been in a couple of situations. I had a couple of artists under my wing, and the label want to fuck with them. I'm, 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 I legally represent them as a consult. I ain't gonna sign. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sign no bad contract. And you know what I'm saying? So, like I said again, I'm a beast when it comes to contracts. When it comes to contract, I put I put together contract. I study contracts. I know what a good contract and bad tra- contract are like. Because speaking of that, I remember artists from Detroit. I, I, I we cool. Y'all remember our artist name Ricochet from Detroit? Ricochet? Y'all remember, y'all remember Ricochet? Ricochet, yeah. I remember I know, Ricochet. I, know I remember that group I know case in uh, uh, Big Baldy. Rick, Ricochet was signed to, um, oh my God, what's that I, label I, I under Universal? I, I, I had his tape. Um, yeah. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Label under, it used to be loud, it's called something else, from Loud Records. He was signed to a Universal affiliate label. He signed okay. the production deal, which is a fucking no no. No. So the, what happened? The artist, the, the manager, the, the, the guy was managing him, managing him. No, the guy that he signed to, the guy's wife was the artist manager, conflict the interest that quick. So how would you feel like how would you feel like you get you get a deal for um two hundred thousand, you get a deal for two hundred thousand dollar budget, you ain't see ten thousand dollars out of two hundred thousand. Oh. You'll be upset, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd be mad, yeah. right? Oh yeah. You know, oh, 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 SRC record, SRC universe. That's it, SRC record. So he's, he's an artist on SRC Records. He signed a production deal with a local company out of Detroit. The label sold his contract to the SRC Universal. They cut a check for two hundred fifty thousand. He only got ten thousand out of two hundred fifty thousand. And so he called. They called me to get. They told his cousin called me on the phone. He talking about well, he did a record with Fat Joe. Did a record with Akon. He had a heavy hit on his first album, but he never he didn't do nothing. So what happened? They dropped him from the label. They know they dropped him from the label. So. His cousin called me on the phone talking about I need you to help my cousin out. He he's out, he's out the deal. So I met I met Rick and Shay came my house. We had a conversation. I say, if I go to New York for you, I need five thousand dollars for you to go to New York. I ain't going up there on no money shit. I need some money. Hell yeah. So he so basically I made I made a call for him. I called an Aaron R. Dude I was cool with at SRC. First day he talking about, oh, I don't want to pause out you, Starstruck. I know how you get down. I heard what you did in your Atlanta Records that time. I, uh, he's like, look, 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 I'm letting you know what's going on. We dropped, we dropped from the label three months ago. We 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 had we didn't have no address to, to send him the letter. He been dropped from the label. Letter came back as a uh, return sender. So more to the story. Never sign a production deal with nobody. If you if it's not a straight deal, don't sign a production deal. They take the contract, they flip to a major label. Major label get the production company the money. They control the budget. You get ten thousand out two hundred fifty thousand. That's a sucker deal. Fuck yeah, that's why I messed up. I messed up when I fr- signed my that first ain't contract. Shit. Yeah. Messed it all. See, if I be, if I be your, if I be your consultant, I would, they would fucking hate me because when it comes to consulting shit, I argue with Silver Rome. Silver Rome know who I am. Silver Rome know who I am. Kurt Willie know who I am. L.A. Reid heard of me before. Kevin Lyles heard of me before because I'm the dude. When I show up in, when I show up in New York or L.A. I play no games whatsoever. I got an artist on my fucking hand from my back. I get the best deal possible for the artist, or we gonna walk away from the deal. Nobody signed a sucker deal now. I watch because what they do is they they pip you for your art, they pip you for your money, they pip you for your money. They see you advance, they get that money back. Now they do claim they tax you the money back next year. Everybody knows that. Major labels is, is, is labels fucked up now, very fucked up now. That's why I be independent. Put your records out independently. It, that's what I always your, say, bro. Your independent. Yeah. Yep. Independent. Independent. Yeah. 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 Because like my, like my my brother my brother got record, my brother my brother's independent. We got records called uh, Run It Up. Under our label called Great Star Music Group, my brother named Great. We gonna do a video next week. We control our own destiny. We may do a we may do a partnership deal with somebody, but them to talk to us, we, they they gotta be talking. About, they gonna talk about at least three hundred thousand up. We probably we put we we spent like twenty thousand on production alone. So bills gotta get paid. I don't, I don't, nobody ain't gonna sign no sucker deal with nobody. We we too old to do deal. We do a partnership deal with a label, not a straight deal, because label they they job is to take advantage of arson. The only one got a good deal was your girl uh, with that woman that was a rap show, Car- Cardi B. She had, she had a dope-ass manager. That's why. 
and she paid the money back just that quick. Three sixty deal. She got a nice deal, Cardi B. But other than that, I tell any artist, not sign a major deal. It was going on back in the day, like when um, what was that? Uh, TLC got jacked up with their yeah. with their with yeah. their music. Yeah, man, yeah. That, that was terrible, man. You know, you had TLC had to be some some billionaires. You yeah, know? because even when I start when I start producing, I did a couple work for hires before coming in because that's how I had to learn. But eventually, I won't have point off the publishing. I start making these demands, these labels. They's like, oh no, no, because as a producer, when you remix a five record, you gotta get paid. Don't think you'll give me a little ten thousand dollars. That's it. I want royalty split on something. I want something in the mail. So at first, I paid my dues. I, I I started. I did um, I did I did nonchalant remix called Five O'clock in the Morning. That's one of my records. You can Google the shit. Uh, five O'clock in the Morning. What's it gonna be outside on the corner? I did a remix for. I did a remix where I got like seventy five hundred for MCA. Gave me seventy five dollars through the remix. And so I made the little money. I got gold record off that shit. It's cool. Then I did. Then I did. Then I did my girl CC Pennison moving on nineteen ninety six. CC Pennison. You know what I'm saying? And CC CC came to me by accident because my boy my boy didn't want to do the record. So I made that record for CC Pennison moving on and money money off that record. And three six mafia of course. Everybody talking about gold record three six mafia. Yeah. I was at the right place, at the right time. I woke up three six. I did a remix for them called a uh, late night tip. They remixed the record. I got gold record from that shit. I I, I wish they would perform that the remix of the fucking Bowser versus um um Bone Thugs and Harmony. I got oh, new yeah. shit. They do my they do my record. They do my that fucking record. I'm like, dang. That means dope. But I did that record. I did seven oh two um record um no doubt. I, I'm a play. I did the drums on that record. Yeah. I wrote a record for seven oh two. Let's speak, my girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Recipe, rest, rest my girl Ish on the group. Then I did West Coast on Silky Fine, Your Style, 2001. Did remix for that record. Then I um, then of course my brother's record, Great D the Great, did his stuff. So I, my list go on all my accomplishments. So I mean I've been just been producing since 1990, really 96, you know, professionally, and I've been making money at the stuff. We don't get me wrong, we all we all go run low sometimes. But I always got a backup plan. I learned how to be a music consultant, get paid consult people. I, be, I, I gotta get paid consulting, get paid for producing, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? To make that money. Bills gotta get paid regardless. Because being a producer, you make sure you get royalties every three, six months. Royalty can be low. Just like recently, I got I got I wish I could bring it here. I, I did a remix for Jody Watley Paul off the hook. I did a remix for Jody Watley Paul off the hook. And I got I got I got I got the last check I got from Jody Watley for motherfucking like twenty twenty two dollars. A check in the mail, twenty two dollars. What's I gonna do with twenty two dollars? But the, the royalties gonna come. You gotta keep track of your royalties, you know. So, like I said, I'm proud to talk about the business, who I work with, what's going on in my life. I love this. I love this. I, I love this whole format today, you know. Right. Really so, do. I really do. So, what do you uh got going on? Like, what all pro what projects you got going on right now? I'm, I'm working. On, I'm, I'm getting some new tracks together. I'm I'm starting getting records to artists. Hope I'm going back to I'm going back to work with major artists. Hopefully soon. Hopefully, you know, Mary J. Blige, album in the future. Um, shit. Anybody that's, that's hot to me, that's, that's I, I I prefer to work with people that are already established. I work with new people too, but new people come with a little bit of headache. But I'm trying to get some new music together for some new artists. Um, and then I'm, 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 a, I'm a TV writer. I write little scripts and stuff about TV shows. I'm writing, I, I, actually, I'm glad King is on here. I'm writing a movie about one of on Finkel. I'm writing a movie on Finkel. I'm putting the money up with some other investors. I'm doing a movie about Finkel from 1985 to 1995. The untold story about Finkel, uh, for, uh, called Untold Story About Finkel Boy. Yeah. So basically, the movie's going to be about, movie's going to be shot from Finkel and Linwood, actually Linwood, all the way down to Finkel and Greenfield. That's where I'm from. So I represent okay. Finkel for one where I'm from. It's going to be an untold story for, it's going to start from 1985 to 95. So I'm going to get a little budget together and shoot, get the shit to 2E TV because I'm looking at the movie shit now. I can make money doing movies. Based hey, upon ideal. Hey, you hey, know what I'm saying? So hey, get hey, get at me. Get at me. Hey, Detroit's yeah, killing me on Tubi, dog. Then, Detroit got Tubi on lock. Because I'm about to be then, and, my, uh, day, I'm about to be making my debut in his um Tubi show produced by uh my man Mo Rilla called The Seafood Family. I want to check it out when it come out. And then Jason, as far as with you, I'm planning on shooting a little bit of Southwest Detroit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna you, I'm gonna have you give me a tour of Southwest Detroit. I've been there a couple of times, but I plan on shooting some scenes in the 90s and probably probably about Western High School and every yeah. shit I remember. 
So I probably get with you. Park. I probably, I probably get with you to show me a tour about that way. I feel like going to Western Picnic finally this year. I have people fuck with Western Picnic. No doubt. South Western Picnic too. Speaking yeah, of by with Western, you. we whipped out uh, uh, and Tubi. We we pulled up on uh Murder Pain. We flicked up with him. We thought okay. uh, somebody got shot. We seen it. We thought it was news cameras. Yeah. Because it was them big cameras they were shooting. It was over off uh, Vernon over there and shit in Campbell. And we uh so we pulled over me and my homeboy my Teka, we pulled over we get out we see it was they they're in the jeep they got dope guns we're like hold up that that ain't the news ain't nobody get shot that's the they shooting the uh scene they, they was shooting a scene from McGraw Ave and shit for the uh, murder yeah. pain and yeah. shit because you know in Detroit we ain't really we wasn't used to that before but now we are and shit now it's starting to be all these what movies up, and shit. What up, what up, what up double Antonio Todd glad you could so make you with the whole thing. <laughs> Hey, you want to hear, hear something funny about that? McGraw Ave. I work at yes, the sir. I work at the Salvation Army on uh, Martin Luther King and Lawton, right? Me, my home, okay. me, my homeboys, firstborn. Um, you know what I'm saying? No, really. So up here, I'm sitting up here serving food one day to the clients, and I'm like, I'm man look like the dirty cop from McGraw Ave. <laughs> It was like, what up, what up, what up, what up, B? What up, though? Salute, salute, salute. And it was actually him. Wow, that's a great story. It was funny. I told everybody was making fun of him, saying he looked like a dirty cop, not knowing (laughs) play a dirty cop on TV for real. (laughs) He played him well. He played him well. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. No. That's be, that's be very crazy, but like I say, I'm enjoying. We got another thirty minutes. I'm I'm, I'm on you guys' time right now. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, no, man. No. Hey, hey, no. hey, hey, uh, Starstruck. Hey, what what a, what it would be? Something that you uh, can tell the uh, the youth when they come in, to come into the music. Something that they need to listen to from you. Um, well, I do talk to youth. I let them know get do do education first. Get a high school diploma, get a college degree first. Then pursue music, because when you when you trying to be a rapper in eleventh grade, twelfth grade, you're not your focus should be on school as priority first. Then do the music. So I tell people help educate yourself first by getting some schooling in your system, so you know about contracts, so you understand how publisher points work, how you understand how to do shows correctly. I tell anybody get education first. Then I tell people this: it's not the wrong work. It's not the wrong work in a real job. Real job makes money. You pay your bills. So it's, there should never be a shame of who you really are. If you work at McDonald's. Say go studio. That's something you like to do. It don't make no damn difference. Nobody don't have to know you work at McDonald's. Be proud of who you really are. Don't 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 fabricate who you are. If you're not a street type of person, if you come from a good home, be a good person. I, yeah. I'm into that. I don't like people to fabricate stuff to try to be accepted by other people, and then they gonna be laughing at you. You ain't from this hood for real. You're not from this. It's not your livelihood. So I promote education first. Then I say, okay, you wanna do music? Learn about how the music business works first. Uh, start study books about music entertainment. How you know about publishing points, contracts. Then you can get in the music business and pursue it. But pursue it as a hobby, not a career yet. Because I see them come and go. I know people that walk through. I know people that work at the plant and quit their plant job be a rapper. Now he broke as fuck. No, Me- you got a job at the plant. Do do music yeah. part time. Yeah. You know, I mean, you have to find a way because you you can work at the plant making X amount of money. That 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 job gonna pay four one k. They pay they pay benefits. Mm-hmm. Rap don't pay no benefits like that. Only rap no, don't pay benefits. No, no, like rap doesn't that. pay the rent. You're like, like, yeah. Rent, rent, rent got to be paid. Pay rent got to be, be, pay, be paid between the first and the fifth every month. You know what I'm saying? You got to get that rent. Yeah, I, know artists, talk, I know artists sure. that was on major labels that worked regular jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong yeah. with that. Nothing wrong with that because as long as it shows you work and shows this. That's a hustle. It shows, like I say, music should be a, a hobby to you. You've been blessed enough to make it. That's successful. Everybody know rap, the hip hop game only a three, three, three. Every artist maybe got three to five years to excel themselves. That that came out. Some artists just fumbled the ball. They they done out the year. You know, they had their chance and something to pan out. You have to recreate yourself. Become a manager. Become a promoter. Become a producer. Find something to do. I don't care if you guys work the camera. Camera make camera make a lot of money. Camera make money. Yeah. So. You gotta find something else a backup plan. You had a multiple yeah. job because hip hop, I love hip hop. It pays, but it pays kind of slow. Do stuff yeah. the right way. Real talk. So that's that's yeah. why I talk to youth all the time. I talk, I talk to some of these parents sometimes. 
Oh, my son rap because your son rocked the talent show in fucking ninth grade. He ain't ready for goddamn sh- yeah. stage yet. Goddamn. Yeah. Parents don't want to fucking work. You want to allow these fucking kids to be successful. No. Work your ass job. Good, and make sure your, your daughter and son go to college. So yeah. I believe in that theory. So I promote the positivity as far as education first, then do music as a hobby. You become successful, that's a blessing. Yeah, <laughs> no, I gotta mention yeah. this now because uh, Blantonio Todd, you tapping in late, and I know you're cut for time. Start struck. My apologies for that, man. I told you he was for two sides. I do, I do part two of the show very soon. I come back. We talk again. Oh, no. I got you. Absolutely. You, you missed everything. Yeah, it's all good, you know? yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, no, I was like, I was looking forward to this, and then yeah, I had some stuff going on. So yeah. No, but I had to bring it up because I know you stayed with the homie Dice. And perform with Dice, and I know you had told us a story about Dice, so I had to just let Blantonio know because you know Blantonio, that's how we all kind of clicked up was like through Dice and uh, Killers Don't Talk, yeah, but Dice had a lot to do I'm with. Not, it. I'm Dice cuz I'm I'm, I'm, I'm Dice cuz of my marriage. That's my that's okay. my dude. All right. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. so I told a story about um I gave I gave Dice BCD 2005. And he told me, you, you too much like Kanye West. I sample, I loop shit, I chop shit. He said, that's yeah. not my style. I said, you, you got Star Trek, you got to get deeper in that. You got you got to go in the soul. <laughs> Give me some dope shit. And I'm like, gave me, they gave me a pep talk. I'm playing, like I'm playing football and loop eating shit. But yeah. I love Dice to death. He's a pioneer to me for what up, though? Yeah. Hold on to my dick. Um, Come on, now. I've been a fan of Dice since 1992. Yeah. I'm going with Dice. That's yeah, real talk. He, he doesn't all. just rap to any beat, too. That's the thing. No, he don't. No. Him, 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 okay, his boy, you know, do you know, you know Dice Boy, Jimmy, you know, your boy, uh, Dice Boy, boy, Jimmy Two Times? You know who he is? Yeah, Timmy uh, Two Times, yeah. yeah. He bought me, he bought me from me. He, 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 he bought me, 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 he he good people, too. Uh, yeah, okay. That's yeah. I do. That's I do. Yeah. Jimmy two times. Yeah, when I recorded my uh that the Zeno disc I did on uh Timmy two times was in the studio and shit at the back cave yeah. when I recorded uh Benzino needs a hug back in uh I think it was 2017, 2008. But that's a whole nother story. We gotta have, we gotta have part two for sure. Yeah, we ain't talking about that motherfucker and shit. We talking yeah. Detroit here. We got Detroit legend in the building, Starstruck. You what just have everybody. Yeah. Nah, I mean, because I was looking forward to it right there, because like like definitely uh and there was a lot I wanted to discuss, and we got to have a part two like really soon. Yeah, because I was telling them how Awesome Dre like was his, one of his like idols growing up, Black Tonio, but it was Awesome Dre. You know what I'm saying? It, it reached, Detroit reached out that Tucson, Arizona like that. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. To me, it's like yeah, that's where I gravitated. Yeah. I was. Oh, I thought, Starstruck in yeah. the building. Starstruck in the building. Yeah, when I heard this. Uh, that net cut a remix uh ICP deal with uh awesome Dre. I tripped when I heard that. Yeah, yeah that you can we you can't hold me back remix. Oh, oh, way, no, not that. Yeah. oh man, what, no, what no ICP about? that's hard as fuck though. Oh, wait a minute, the other, you're talking about yeah, the other Dre on there. Yeah. I know you uh short on time, but uh we didn't uh, we didn't discuss like people be asked about the uh these Detroit versus everybody, all that. What do you think about that whole situation that when that was going on with the whole shit with Rick Ross, that whole shit? <laughs> well, first of all, Trick Trick, that's my homeboy. I've been knowing since the nineties. Um, what he stood for as a man, I I went Trick Trick on the issue, and y'all y'all people don't understand why he did it. It's not like he ain't like he whooped Rick Ross ass or beat him up nothing like that. No, he did. It's just it, it's the problem because I feel like. You have to pay, like, 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 let's like say, for instance, I come to New York, right? I come to, I come to where you at, Staten Island. You come to Staten Island, correct? You come, you, 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 you in Staten Island, correct? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I come to Staten Island, I'm going to check in with you. Like, look, I'm coming to your town a couple of days. Are you, I'll say, I'm, are you okay? Okay, come, come to my town. I come to Staten Island as a guest of yours. You're going to show me around the right way. I Hell can't yeah. Staten Island. I can't, I can't come to Staten Island and pull out a whole bunch of money and say, fuck everybody here. I get oh, money. Man. Nah, I did, I did, I, I did respect people in Staten Island. Now, Staten Island, they, they, fall from a, they fall from a joke. I fuck around and get chased out the bitch or get stuck up around. It's all, it's all about pay, it's all about checking in respectfully and let the person know yeah. I'm in your town two or three days in advance so the person prepare for you to come down. I'm asking you, you all right? You cool? Okay, I come to your town. It's cool. So when Trick Chick did, he did something different. Then between Rick Ross, we did the Birdman. That's a different situation. Uh, we did Trick yeah. Tree back, and that's a different situation. But as far as Rick Ross, 
He mm. stood his ground respectfully, peacefully. Nobody didn't get beat up. Nobody didn't get robbed. Nobody didn't get tortured. All the man would stop the man from forming some jail. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah so you can, you can my thing about it, I, I support him. I support him. Yeah. I support him. Just, just, <laughs> just notice, just notice when, when, when Benzino was in the D, look, you didn't realize how fast he was moving, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, because that was, that well, was yeah. down, downtown, Macomb County, and then I know out. downtown. Come on, we know that's where the police. Yeah, yeah, downtown, downtown Macomb County, County yeah. out. I mean, they went on. They, they went on. They, they say he went on fake. Why for? He said he went on fake. Why? I said who the fuck authorized him go on fucking fake? I don't know. He got. I don't know. He got cooked by on fake. I don't know. I'm. I'm still investigating that shit. Cause I'm like, dude, don't get me wrong. As a fan, I like all my arrest, oh, main man, wise guys. As a fan, that was right. dope groups to me. But as him being yeah. a person, I really don't care for Zeno now. Because what you're trying to do, yeah. you're trying to be relevant, and then you bang these, you bang these podcast shows. Uh, uh, nothing wrong. If you offer to pay him money, that's on you guys. This man basically yeah. trying to negotiate with you guys to get a certain amount of money he want to do the show. You, you went from making five million dollars. You went, you went, you, you, you bag KL, then you bag your guys' show. I'm like, dude, you got the money like that? You shit. Yeah. That's the fuck up shit because yeah. he wanted a G from Kid I, L. He wanted five hundred from us. Yeah. He wanted more fucking. Uh, I don't know. I ain't go young. He actually went to the young uh, to murder mitten me uh, murder yeah, mitten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, YLGs. You know, like, we had them on the show actually. Yeah, yeah them I mean, on the show a couple that, weeks. Yeah, it can count. My so thing about good. it, I would never charge nobody for an interview unless you want to pay me. I would never ask for no money. God, it just just like y'all give me a format to talk two hours. What more can you ask for that? So I would never ask my unless you want to say, okay, start up. How much you want to do this shit? I'm a fair. I ain't gonna try to break the fucking bank. But right. I love you. I want you to offer me money, not be begging you. The only way I do your show, I need a thousand dollars. I need a bottle of Moet. I need a shot of Hennessy. <laughs> and you ain't like that goddamn. Uh, dude, yeah, like, for real. Uh, hey, and shout out to homie Monty Crystal too and shit because I know he's still oh, yeah, watching. Monty shit. Yeah, because uh, that celebrity thing. boxing, I the seen his thing. message. I seen what Benzino the said. Benzino thing. told him for a hundred yeah, cheese, hundred racks, he'll fight anybody. Monty told him shit. I'm talking about a meal on this shit. Let's talk to your people. Yeah. Like yeah, shit. Yeah, Monty, Monty, Monty Crystal ain't no joke. Him, him, and your boy six four. <laughs> Them oh, two man. characters. Like I'm, yeah. almost, I'm always yeah like. I forget who who he was like saying to go against him. My mom was like Monte Cristo himself going against Benzino. <laughs> My money's yeah. on money. <laughs> Monte Cristo, Monte Cristo, he he worse than me. Now now I, now I'm 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 fucking ruthless, but he got me beat. He more ruthless than me. The shit I see on Facebook, Monte Cristo be talking about. I'm like whoa. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, whoa, you know, yeah. I, I scared that dude. Hey, like you said, the murder <laughs> Mac is always <laughs> open this shit. The murder <laughs> Mac is always I open. I don't think Zeno want another Chris, though. Hey, Ben oh. Zeno can always. Like, what up, Chaps? He's like, yeah. <laughs> if you start with Ben Zeno, no, he can always be a mascot for uh, Toys R Us with his giraffe looking ass. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You, you, went being, you went from being a, a 90s. A cool individual, early 2000s, now you desperation. And I don't like the fact he, he okay, I can see if he promoted, he come to Detroit, he promoted, I'll come to Detroit five days, and then he went through the mind. So I'm like, damn, y'all fucked up. Right. Well, you were sneaking in town, looking around like this, very quietly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 is the food good here? Because, like, like, he ain't even dressing like, like dressing swag either. I'm like, you he's like, he's like, dressing low key. He was like, he walked around. He walked around. Dude he took like a picture can't. with him, said he ain't even know who he was. He thought he was an Eminem fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Low key, he is. He the number one stand. Is the, Shit. Is the fool good? The dude, like, the dude, the dude that's serving the spaghetti. Black Antonio got a theory, though, that Eminem oh, threw him a bone I, by mentioning his name and making him relevant again. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get him some money, trying my, to help him out. My, my thing yeah. is, Issue with Eminem, what the Eminem done for this, the this Detroit city itself, he gave back as far as participating, as far as some stuff downtown. We done. I issue with Eminem. Eminem did what he had to do. He gave he gave D12 a chance. He gave Obi Trice a chance. So I don't issue with. I'm not I'm not Eminem a hater. I, I have no issue with Eminem. I'm not an Eminem hater. Cause I look at it like this: we all grown men. You can depend on nobody for no help. Help yourself first, foremost. You yep. can't depend. So so right. you were off no deal. Maybe you wasn't good enough for a deal. 
Because uh, what Eminem don't want to walk down Finkel? Walk, 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 six miles. He worked for three hundred million dollars. You think he gonna be walking down six miles, seven miles, eight miles? Hell Finkel? Nah. No. No. Oh. Three hundred million dollars. Suicide mission. Yeah, yeah, chilling, yeah, chilling, no. He's he, he chilling with his grandkids. He's chilling with his grandkids. Yeah, his grandfather. Yeah. That's, so that's he worked. Cool. He worth three hundred million dollars. He he at home. He, he basically he look at his bank account every day. I got three hundred million. All he need to do. Damn. He paid this dude to be in the dude. I don't give a fuck about me for trailer trash. That I'm nothing to do. I don't care nothing about that. The bottom line of he he did what he had to do for Detroit, and people get mad. Cause he ain't walking down Dexter and Linwood. Come on, now. Yeah. yeah. They got right. three hundred million. That's he ain't got to worry about criminals coming out. Exactly. Smart. He's smart. He's smart. Yeah. yeah. He's smart. No, I'll be low key too. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I worth three hundred million, I'm gonna yeah. go to hiding too. Yeah. I, I ain't coming outside for nothing. I was worth three hundred million. No, no. 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 Oh, he's trying. He's trying. I guess he's trying to uh, yeah. pull down a horse. Hey, yo, starstruck. He's Shout out to West Warren King, horse. though. He did check him a little bit. He's trying to pull down a horse. Oh, oh yeah, shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Benzino With trying to pull down yeah. him and shit. <coughs> and I, 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 I should, I should like, I should like Benzino. I like Rock the Party his record, two thousand five, two thousand four. I like that record, Rock the Party by Benzino. But I'm yeah. like, dude, like, you, 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 you took what you did in the '90s, and it's like, you, 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 you still wow. beef with Eminem? What? <laughs> I'm like, it was, yeah. it was fun. Yeah. It, was, it was fun at first. It was fun at first. But I, I kind of okay, it was fun. But it's been twenty, what, twenty three, twenty four years. Yeah, and people were in the go on drink champs, dog. He made a fool out of himself. Bone could have pulled it, but no, no, need a new team around. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. And then you pick his, you pick his mother spot. I'm like, dude, you got issue with him? Why you go sit in boy's face and see what's going to happen? Right. Yeah. I mean, as a man, you as the way I was raised, you got to be with somebody. You dress the person you got to be with. I ain't gonna send no message. Go say. Well, Jason, I don't like you. And send it to my homeboy, Terry. Y'all some bitch ass shit. If I don't like Jason. I'll, I'll see you. I'll text you. And I can check you. Just, well, I'm glad you said that real quick. My boy, uh, my boy, JP. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know who JP One is, right? Y'all know who JP One is. Yeah. JP One from Detroit. JP One. My boy, Al, my boy Alvin Hill. Yeah. Good people. One thing about JP One, I had an issue with JP One. It's a true story. We good. We 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 we, we, we cool. JP1. No. Yeah, JP no, one, speak, speak on it, man. Yeah. No, no, what happened? And he sit there and tell you this verbatim. I had an issue with JP one. He spoke about Blake Icewood uh, him dying. So so he to so an interview. So I listened what he had to say. So I called my boy Kitty Producer on the phone, asked him, well, okay, what's up with JP one temperature? What's his temperature like? He had just like you. I said, well, I run to him a chin check. So I, I confirmed him at the um Detroit Hip Hop Awards in St. Andrews some years ago. And, and one thing about he stood the ground against me. I respect him as a man. He said, look, some stuff was said that was twisted. I messed up, and it was cool. I said, well, you cool with that? So, he, so I looked at it like I, I pulled him to the side. I had a conversation with him. He stood as a man. He played his part. We was cool since that point. The bottom line, if I got an issue with somebody, I'm going to address it to you. I ain't going to go to Eminem's mama and destroy the shop and all yeah. that shit. I'm going I'm to I'm find Eminem and confront my goddamn self. Yeah. And when, I confront, when, I show up, when I show up on the announce, I'm coming, to, I'm coming for that man I got to beef with and confront you. I'm giving yeah. you the opportunity to explain yourself. I go to your mama. How do I go to your baby mama confront her some shit I got beef with you about? What's she going to do? Nothing but call you on the phone. No. Mm -hmm. I go to the man I issue with. Not the person, not your baby mama, not your dad, not your mother. I go to your grandma. I'm not even going to your grandmother. I catch your grandmother at, uh, at the laundry mat. I confront your grandmother now. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's miscommunication right there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that. Uh, Detroit is yeah. just built different, dog, than a lot of cities. Yeah. Yeah. Zeno felt like he was safe because yeah. he knew a couple people out here. You know what I'm saying? He's been I mean, out here. So because he I got an issue with somebody. If I got issues with I'm going to address to that person. I mean, if I issue with anybody, I'm, I'm going I'm to see you have a conversation. I'll give, give you a chance to defend yourself. Maybe you maybe you was drunk. You said shit. Okay, we have a conversation. I ain't going to, I'm not going to kids with the shit. I ain't going to your mama, your daddy, your grandmother, your uncle, your auntie. They innocent. They have nothing to do with it. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Just being a man. That's true. Yeah. Just being a man because a man, a man got to check that person he had an issue with. That's that, 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 that's that's rule one on one. You don't go to the mama to spaghetti place oh, and put spaghetti down on the ground think you done something. All you do is clean my, up. My shit started with him. 
He, no, he, I just, I don't like he said some shit to my daughter. He did the same thing to yeah, got him. Yeah, we're like, yeah, yeah, we got into it. And it had nothing to do with Eminem. That was a few years ago. It was over my daughter and shit. I, I think he thought he was going to go viral with that shit. No, it's a disaster. Then he won't kill El. Then I kill El situation. You know, I'm gonna be on his show, but I, but I, I'm gonna be on the show last year. He never got to me. So Kid L, you know, I looked at the show and it's cool, but I, I mean, I, 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 if I, if I'm on the show, I can accept. I'm cool with it because I see how his show is set up. Because yeah. Kid L, well, he only what 28 years old. He young. He don't really know about Detroit history like that. He, he asked he don't questions. Know it at all. He don't really know what like that. He asked him what part you know of Seven Mile he was from. Eshan. Yeah, his name yeah. said Eastside uh, Hoes and Money. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> Yeah. He's, only, he's only 30 years old. He's only question to ask people like me. Or Big Herb, Awesome Dre, or Eshan. Yeah, Awesome Dre. Eshan's on his own show. I can watch Eshan talk to him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But, but like I say, I mean, as far as Kid L, I mean, I, I like his show at first. I'm looking I'm looking a little bit he different now. Kid L tried to get on Yeah, he tried yeah. to get on our yeah. show right before we, right after we had... uh. We had a Valentine's Day massacre. We had Monte Cristo, Charlie oh, Picasso, and Nitzo. Yeah. I love that show. I watched that show. That was a good show. I watched that show. I like that show. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, but so he hit me up after that and wanted to come on and explain himself and shit. But uh, I was like, let me holler at the team. And as soon as I said that, he was like, well, he, he kind of like knew he didn't want to get uh, confronted, I guess. He wanted to be some one on one shit type shit. Well, like he yeah. wanted me to come sit on his couch or something and shit and talk about it. Like, nah, yeah, like, yeah. Sit like on the couch with a grown yeah. ass man. Cross that, crossing your legs like that. No, that's why I respect these shot how he walked off. He was like, man, he got you know what I'm saying? He, he like, kept asking I about Eminem. Like, like that going, Eminem I think man, proof good. and shit. He's yeah. like, he got me talking about somebody who's dead. He was like, man, mm -hmm. take that yeah, shit and true. use it. I'm gone. Yeah, hmm? Before we get up out of here, Sue, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say something real quick. I forgot some people. I'm gonna shout out to one of my best friends named Lisa, better known as Angel Strickland, one of my best friends. She pushed me to do the music thing in the 90s. That's yeah. one of people that's instrumental to me, one of my best friends. I love her to death. She's from Fink where I'm from. Grew up a childhood friend with the Cootie High together. So I get a stretch of shout out to my home, my BMF, Lisa. I love you to death. She's been she been down with me through the thickest of all thick. And I'm gonna get cut this shout out to my cousin Omar. My cousin Omar, he put me doing, he actually pushed me to do a music thing too. He's from Finkel. He like the enforcer. He's the big cousin. So you could do a starstruck, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love my cousin Omar. Now I got to say what's up to my homeboy, Dallas, better known as um Leonard Dyer. Rest in peace. One of my best friends. He started off as DJ, one of my childhood friends. He didn't want to tell me to do the music. He didn't want to tell me to go to New York and start working with people. He actually pushed me to go out of town and start working with people. So my boy, Dallas Dyer, better known as Leonard, is, is very inspirational to me. And my boy Donovan too. So I, like I said, I thought it was just real quick. I don't want to get off the show, forget my friends that helped push me through the music, through the music thing, so forth. You know what I'm saying? So I feel I'm really proud. I say to people, Nate, just yeah. that quick. No, we, we support that all the way because I mean, we always forget somebody, and we never want to leave yeah. them out. So we always, we now always want to have them back too. Be like, hey, if he forgets you, you know, like it's not on purpose. Yeah. It's just like it. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm freestyling everything in my mind, so I won't forget nobody's name. So I have a tendency to say, let me make sure if I get off the show. That's it. I did everything I to do, but like I said, again, <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm a mother, my mother pushed me to do music. Her name is Sandra Ambers. My little sister, Cynthia, my old sister, Crystal. Of course, my brother, better known as Dita Great, better known as Great, influential part of my life. Um, so many people pushed me to do the music things since 1995, 96. I had so many friends from Tita Pimp, good friend of mine. Um, my boy Mark Hicks, a smart individual. Oh. Um, Austin Dre, right. Jack Frost, um, so many people got me where I'm at today. My man Michael Powell, producer extraordinaire. We had talks about publishing in 1990s. My boy Lathan Grady, R&B star, good friend of mine, Lathan Grady. They had a hit record called Freak It. He used to be signed to So So Death and Motown Records separately during that time. Great friend of mine. So I'm taking shout outs to make sure I announce people. My boy, my boy, I keep forgetting my boy Dennis. My boy Dennis uh, Dada Martin. He, he, he's older than me. He put, 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 took me on his wing in 1983. I, was, like I, said, I, start, I started being a sports player at first. So I got used. I was a basketball star. Oh, and it was oh, a damn. baseball star, football star. Oh. And so Dennis got, Dennis got me to do the music. Dennis got me to do, got me to do the music. I was maybe 13, 14 years old. And far me being a DJ. But boy, Dennis Dada, Martin, make sure I said his name. So I just wanted to just make sure I acknowledge people that have been part of my life that helped get where I'm at today. 
Like I said, I'm very humble. I'm very gracious. You guys take the time out your busy schedule. Bring me on. That's why I promote you. I promote you. I promote you, I promote you motherfuckers damn near every other day. Make sure. No. Cause that's how you promote. We appreciate because you, though. Appreciate the love. Hey, thank thank you for coming on. Yeah, no, no. It's an honor. It's to have definitely an honor. honor. I, oh, no. Still again, you all for coming on late, man, because I wanted a lot more to chop it up. That's okay. You know? I'm going to come back and do a part two. I'm going to come back a couple months. I'll do a part two. And we yeah, that's, that's what's up. Thank you, sir. We're going to talk. You felt We're going to talk. We're going to talk. Yeah. We, we were talking about Wu Tang Clan all the way to Second and None, all the way to Messy Mark, all the way to Detroit's Most Wanted, all Universal. The to, all the way to Ron C. Ron C. for Texas. I know about Ron C. for Texas. And your boy Nem uh, Nemesis. 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 Yeah, Nemesis, Nemesis, Nemesis. The Nemesis. For your love, much, for, much for your love. The Rodney on Joe. I, I grew, grew up like Rodney on Joe Cooley. Come on, not Rodney on Joe Cooley, West Coast. So oh, I'm looking forward to come back. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. DLC coming up. DLC yeah. coming up. Yeah, we, there, there's still a lot we got to talk about. I mean, we ain't even getting into uh, Jay Diller, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? So uh, and I know you got stories stories for days. And remember, remember, I'm from Finkel for one, baby. I represent Finkel for life. Yeah. No doubt. Right there. I represent, baby. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love Southwest. East side and west side, no matter neighborhood you from, I got passed with everybody's neighborhood. I'm not funny acting, but I'm in your neighborhood, I come in your neighborhood. I love it. Yeah. I, I come we, side of New York City. We're pretty sure that Benzino wasn't around there, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I, it's, been, it's been great yeah. hours for me talking. Well, you know, I, I, uh, I already don't do well, you know, Benzino was too busy trying to meet up with uh, Master Splinter at, on Six Mile on the Woodward for the sword fight. <laughs> Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, we ain't. We gave it here too much shine, dog. He don't need that. Yeah, yeah, that's enough on that. Like a homeboy, yeah. Definitely blessed. Yeah, but we, but we, 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 we looking for our brother. Single. His name is Gray. Got hit single. We got a single coming up. We got a single called Run It Up. We doing a video next side in Detroit, Michigan. He got grown. He got a grown album for real. Universal album is called Authentic. It'll be out real, real soon. Then, then he got a record called Casino Nights. Did with Mercer's and Mirror. Be a second single. Yeah, he did a record with Mercer Mir called Casino that's Night. A, that's fine. Um, yeah, he shout out Mercer. Be a hot record. He, you know what I'm saying? So my brother Gray is a talented writer, talented producer. He be, be putting the he put it's been, it's been three years, we put three years through this album. I'm gonna have 12, 13 songs, it'll be out real soon. But singles are already out. I email you guys a single, my brother's single called yeah. Runner by by Gray. It's a it's a grown <laughs> record, it's, it's no bullshit, no, no. It's straight grown folks music. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. So I right. love that company. And my company, Savvy Music, um, me and my cousin Scott Showtime, um, Lori, we run that company, Savvy Music, together. Me and him, we're gonna produce up brand new artists very, very soon. So I basically run two companies, Ray Star Music Group and Savvy Music. So we try, we want, we gonna show these, we gonna show these labels how to do a label correctly. So like I said, my brother got my brother got hot records right now. He got 13, 12, 13 records. And like I say, we could do we go do like probably five, six different videos of over pro, pro, pro project. I am invite, invite you guys to come to, uh, watch a film of my brother video real soon too. So trust me. Well, this, I was gonna this, say this, send them our way too. You know, send them our way. Yeah. We, 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 yeah, so yeah, bring, bring them on the show. But right now, yeah. oh, I can't yeah. wait y'all get drunk. I can't wait you I can't get I can't wait to get drunk and mass on the show. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Drunk yeah. Mass yeah. he got a lot, he got I'm more psyched, shit to say I'm to me. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. why I plugged him too, you guys. What you need what you need to do, my boy um Tony Brown, um Tony Goat Goodman from the DBGs from the group. You get him do an interview with him. I, I yeah. talked to him about it. He reached out to the show. They want to have Bang Bang Boogie Body Like a Motherfucker Bust okay. the Capital Record 1993. He was able to sign oh, the Hammers man. label. Him and Louis Burrell oh, label. Oh, Bust damn, record. okay. All right. Yeah. Get him on the show, too. So I'm yeah. plus plug some people to talk to you guys. Yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I, I, yeah. I, uh, this has been great. I, this first thing this I did in three years. First one I did um, in three years. Man, uh, we I'm, appreciate I'm, that. I'm, and I was going to say also, going back to Drunken Master real quick. You do know after you jump off this interview, you can still hop on for the for the Drunken Master episode. You want to say what's okay. up? Uh, no, no, no. I watch that show every week. No, 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 no. All right. Yes, I, you I, can I, hop on. I, 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 a, 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 P Capone from Top, top Tony and Sala. That interview. Your yep. boy, um, chi, um, your boy from the boy being a lynch mob. I like that dude too. Oh my gosh. Okay, Dazzy D. Three. We had Dazzy D. Three and Jay D. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Dazzy D. Oh my God. And uh, oh, I love Dazzy D. I know he's underrated, but I love that dude, man. Yeah. Yeah. Put the gangster record 1995. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shout out to Dazzy D. Shout out to Lynch Mob. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
he thought he was gonna talk a little shit. So uh Oh yeah, yeah. Is your mother gonna be there? Yeah, is your mother gonna be there? Man, is my mother gonna be there? You no wanna way. bring people's moms up, huh, Benzino? That was a comment from Benzino while we were alive, y'all. That's why uh if y'all noticed why I kinda brought up Benzino's name and shit. Oh, yeah. Fucking issue. Yeah, well, kinda why I went kinda a little bit there too. Yeah. Cause really I don't give a fuck about Benzino. I already said what I had to do. And I got yeah. something else for his ass too. Yeah. Shit. He really. <laughs> I mean, because that's almost tempting to be like, is your daughter going to be there though? <laughs> <laughs> right. You're hey, like, Monte right Cristo, uh, celebrity boxing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you yeah. see the screenshots, Benzino said for 100 racks. Monty says, shit, we going to like, we gonna get a mil each. Like, Monty could do, 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 do the thing against him. Or, like, we got, yeah. We got that was uh, that's on uh, Benzino shit on Raymond Scott, Justin McFly, Raymond Scott on Facebook, Benzino. Go, I don't care. I'll plug him right now. Fuck it. Go check him out, Raymond Scott. Go, y'all go troll this shit. You know it's what cool. I'm saying? No, I'm playing. Just I'm right. just kidding, y'all, because Benzino the type that'll fuck around and do some fucking rat face shit, some kid tail shit. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. Look, look like some birds old of suburbanized feather, shit. Together. Birds of a feather flock together, so you know, yeah. Yeah, that type you of shit. You gotta yourself out. You can't have anybody else do it for you, baby. Yeah, yeah dog. Uh, hey, Brother King you asked, what do you think about Benzino you know, coming to Detroit and doing what he did? I know you see video clips and all that shit. You already you know, heard my theory. Chuck yeah. a move, ho move. He waited till he waited till when he know Eminem wasn't around. The yep. is out here. He did like some six nine shit. You know what I'm saying? When six nine rolled up on O Block and shit, I believe somebody was just mm -hmm. talking about that. I seen him talking about saying that's what uh, that's what he did. That's how he did it. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Like yeah, the same. And like the interview he did was the in the suburbs. Block. We know that the interview yeah, he did was in the suburbs, and he, he was trying to get just a few dollars from people to just like yeah. you know what I'm saying. It was like. Dog, like you supposed to be, you, you acting like you you this famous motherfucker loving hip hop before that source, you know what I'm saying? Source magazine and all this, and you asking yeah. for five hundred dollars, like you should be able to wipe your ass for five hundred dollars and shit, dog. Like, right. so that, that whole outside scene, I could just tell you know, like when you told me about it, I, I recognized it immediately that it was like downtown, which is like, yeah, that's you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's neutral ground, wanted, you know, it's neutral. I, I, I feel like... Yeah. They probably, they, probably, they probably peed in the spaghetti and gave it to his yeah. fucking stupid ass. Let's, <laughs> let's hope so, in a way. <laughs> right. right. But, uh, shit, I... He coming up here, like, 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 like st shout out to Starstruck again. Like, he had the hoodie on, like, and it's like, he trying to look low-key. It's like, all right, you didn't come out there swag, you know, like he didn't come out there, you know, Benzino didn't come out right. swag. Like, look he at wasn't him, riding he around was... the hood like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was staying, yeah. Detroit's airport ain't in mm -hmm. the hood, it's in Romulus, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and he was probably, he was at the Red Roof Inn over there by the uh, <laughs> Metro Airport and shit. Red Roof? Detroit oh, Metro saying. Airport. Like as close, as close no, to the airport as possible. So he, he was safe. <laughs> Him and Rat Face, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Brother King X oh, said, no. sword fighting and shit. Oh, no. 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 I don't want to think yeah. about it. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Big Wig Splitter wants, wants to know what our thoughts are yeah. on the Diddler. <laughs> on P. Diddler. Sword falling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, shout out to our homie out there, Flint. Uh, Big Wig Splitter in the building. Oh. He wants to know. Uh, he wants to know what our th thoughts are on uh the diddler. He called him. You know the P diddler. diddler. Oh man. Diddy, Diddy, P diddler. Um, uh, jokes on you. Uh, hey, you know, the sad, the guilty. sad collapse hey, of uh, you know what? Guilty guilty you jokes on Diddy not diddle bots. Y'all yeah. think he's gonna get locked up, or you think he's gonna beat this shit? Tell me, Diddy, what can you do? It looks like the joke's on you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, they Stupidity. acting like he's Epstein or whatever Stupidity. that dude. I don't even want to say this. No, we probably we might get snatched yeah. down Stupidity. even just saying his name and shit right now. Stupidity. No pity. <laughs> right. If 50 was like, it ain't no more Stupidity. did he do it. It's like, what the fuck? How much time is he finna get? Like, did he... Yeah, man. Uh, he gonna have to do a Roman Polanski and, and you know, jet out of here. What is it? I, I, dog, he, they was following his jet. 
Did he actually get locked up? I heard he got locked. Then I heard he didn't get locked up, but I heard he was cooperating. They had pictures of him right before they raided his Miami crib, and he dipped. And he tried, but they arrested his, uh, they called him his mule, some 25-year-old young kid who was uh, bringing him, the, allegedly. This is what the popo said. And out in the news, and I, you know what, how the news and the popo are, and the police and the news are, so it's allegedly. But they said the mule had uh, yayo and uh, weed on him, which are both, I guess, class A felonies down there in Florida, in Miami and shit. So, uh, because weed is not legal, not even medical, I guess, and shit. So they're felonies. And he was, Diddy was going to get on his jet and go. But I guess Diddy cooperated and they let him go and shit. So, yeah. But they took dude into custody. They arrested him. He got, but they, he had two, like a $5,000 bond. So he got right out. So it ain't no, it ain't like he's doing no time for it. But he might be uh, doing a little talking and shit. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Oh, you know he is. He's, he's saying anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's 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 saying them sweet nothings like on all the albums and shit. Yeah, hell yeah. And he's from that rat. And not, not to hate on that whole generation, I want to say it, but it just seems like you know the six nine shit. I'm just saying, you know, people are just dealing with their feelings more, and he's younger. He might be like, it's okay if I rap. Did he know once he go to prison, once he get in prison, it's gonna be take that, take that, take that. Yeah, yeah. I was the same thing about those pictures. Like, hey, hey, the officer come up like. Hey, can we take a picture? Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. And the officer's like, wait, you're getting a little too touchy feely. <laughs> wait, wait, you got handcuffs? You got handcuffs? Ha ha. <laughs> like, you know. No. No. Kelly no, no. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Yo, no. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Like, take that, take that. Wait, you got handcuffs? Yeah. Man, the diddler, the uh, the diddle box. You got the friends, jungle. I got friends. You and I could be friends. And... <laughs> I heard no pants got something in the works for uh, Diddy. Is that true or is that just a rumor? Yeah, he's been, he's been talking about some stuff. He's been, like, ranting and stuff, all that. You know, he just said, you know, he talking shit about the, the older generation and saying, oh, yeah, you guys all talk shit about my generation being youngsters and kind of goofy. He like, look at your P Diddy that's going up, and he he said he got a track coming for a Diddy. So, I mean, just saying. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. All right, man. We got a bit, so. Definitely. But you know, he gonna get him one of them. He got one of them A team fucking uh lawyers and shit. You know what I'm saying? He gonna come with them A team yeah. lawyers for trial, but A team, shit. yeah. Just that yeah. on the strength of it, but who started it was Cassie. I mean, if she wouldn't have came out like she did and how he paid her just like that, like right away, like pay her, pay her, pay her. That made yeah. her look guilty right off rip, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. yeah. And then everybody started yeah. coming out the woodwork. Woman scorned. She was she was scorned and she came back for that ass. <laughs> like a woman scorned. Yeah. I mean, I just gotta say this is one where I, like it's just I don't know, it's just harder to stick up for the person. You know, on there where it was like with Cosby and stuff, I I, I rolled differently. It was like Cosby was like That's creepy uncle vibes. That's it. But with with Diddy, <laughs> just kind of like hey, we we ain't even talking about like they haven't even really yeah. brought up that he's being investigated for like eight. Yeah. Homicides, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. That's real talk. Artists from not, not to mention yeah. other people pretty much took the rap for it. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Sean got paid ten million for ten years. You know what I'm saying? Real spin. Yeah. I'm just saying that's where it's like it's hard to you know like yeah. We don't know. We weren't there. You know like that's the defense most people would say. But you know like to be honest, like go with your gut feeling. You know like. Yeah, and that, that ain't how all that don't represent hip hop. Did he don't represent hip hop at all? So don't think that at all, y'all. I mean, yeah, real talk. like if somebody if somebody goes here, try this pudding, and it's in it tastes like shit or whatever, you know, and they put plenty of sugar on it, it still tastes like shit. It, it's it's going to be shit. Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Minnie's, Aunt Minnie's yeah. pudding. Yeah. <laughs> it, it ain't jello. It ain't jello. <laughs> it ain't jello. <laughs> well, shit, we ain't uh, played no music this uh, whole uh, episode, dog. So I was thinking uh, I pulled up a track dog, that I thought would be a uh, good track to play because we talked, he talked very highly, he said, when I asked about influences. This man was one. Plus, he got our homie on the track. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, Eshan, Drunken Master. 
Ooh. Bugs and dice. Oh yeah. Y'all wanna play yeah. this year uh, with your yeah, punk yeah. ass off Dead Flowers? Yeah. This, yeah. Dumb, this whole album, yeah. dog, you can just play this whole album from <laughs> cover to cover, like end to end. Yeah. Real talk. <laughs> with your punk ass. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it, y'all. All right, this is Sean featuring Dice and I, coming up, Drunken Master, and uh, with featuring Bugs. With your punk ass, let's go. Shout out, Drunken Master. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout, shout out, out Trek, for coming you know, on. You know, like, yeah, honor having you on. He's Detroit. Sorry, was late to the show, but definitely uh, we look forward yeah. to it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, shout out Drunken Master again because my mic was muted. Yeah. Shout out Drunken Master. Shout yeah, out Drunken Dice. Master. You know what yeah. I'm saying, folks? And that was Eshan out there, Flowers. Eshan, shout out Eshan. You come on here, you know what I'm saying? We know yeah. our history, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. real hip hop. It's a good interview here. Like, that's what we say. It's real like, hip hop, bro. I know you wanted to go on there, yeah. but you see how dude was. I'm just saying, you seen how dude was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and there's no worries. Also, that's the other thing. Like, if you are watching, man, there's no worries, man. It's like, dude, we rock. Yeah, shout out to Ejon, dog. He's definitely uh, on yeah. the Mount Rushmore, of Detroit, dog. For you. yep, he absolutely. On it. You know, and yeah. we had awesome Dre on here. We had Big Herc on here, Merciless Amir, DJ Lowe's. We had all these greats on here, Starstruck, all Great these man. legends. We got Drunken Master coming up. We got. See who else we got coming up? We got a lot of dope uh uh Maestro. We got yep, coming up. Maestro that was he was one of his influences too, he mentioned. So you know what I'm saying? So uh then hip hop. We got a lot of dope guests coming up. DLC Saturday though, y'all. I gotta play the promo video for DLC. Yeah, bro. and Mo Baddis, we looking for you. Mo Baddis, we looking for you. Come on, man. Yeah, Mo Baddis. Mo Baddis. Yeah, we, Mo Baddis. Holla at us, man. Like one of us, one of us, man. We you know, we rock with you, Mama. Ain't heard from me in a minute, so you listening. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, hey, can we get that DOC impression? Oh, uh, shit. The greatest in our lifetime? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm about to play the promo video, the, uh, yeah. the full video, not the short. I'm going to play the whole video, the promo video for the DOC. Because coming up Saturday, y'all, don't forget, set your clocks. Yeah, PM, man. Same place, same time. The legendary Diggy Diggy Doc, y'all. Yeah. No. But uh, I'm gonna jump into the promo video. Let's get it. Yeah. Right. is really an old yeah. to the guys that I I'm to get that I really used to, to, to sort of build myself. Um, and that was uh, Run High Energy. High Energy. Uh, flowing with the wisdom is KRS One. Flowing with the wisdom. Sense of a rich man. Dre lays the uh, tracks. Slick Red. Knowledge in the rhythm is rocking you. And that's my phone. Yeah, you know, so, but I listen to everybody. Uh, yeah. Big Daddy Kane, Big Daddy's influence, and uh, Cool G, you know, and LL. You know, like, like that whole time period in the mid to late yeah, 80s yeah, was my spot. Right? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, know, I give a lot of, up. a lot of to those guys because that, that made you know. made away from me. Why? We are here, we video, me ATL, you know what I'm saying? Easy and W.A. everybody. Yeah. 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 Hosted by Jay Gutter, brother and Black Tony O'Tara, along with the legend. All right. Yeah, we're going to get to E for four second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. DLC. Make sure y'all subscribe too, y'all. Come over here to the Hustle. Right, we got right, a lot of dope right. content over here too. Shout out to Rap God uh, X too. Shout out to Alien Gang. I it's see Alien Gang in the right. chat too. Real bad, and Shout out to Alien Gang. I'm gonna play this real quick, Rap God. Yeah.
Like, my yeah. Like, oh, yeah, we have got X right there. Yeah, yeah salute. Mm-hmm. Justifies dropping out 420. He will have hard copies, too. That's what we're speaking on. You can check this short out. Right here, right here. And have somebody. But, uh, shout out to the Alien Gang. Yeah, they was. I seen them in the chat. But, uh, you know, we was chopping it up with Starstruck. You know, here we let the uh, guests talk. We don't interrupt them, so we keep let them keep talking. So, my bad if I couldn't shout you out in the chat. When, uh, yeah. Salute I mean, Chester McFly also. Yeah, yeah. Chester McFly, he been in the chat the whole Salute time. Chester shout McFly. out to Chester. Yeah. Uh, D. Cocker, shout out to D. Cocker, McWay, Split, uh, ND, Sledge. Everybody in the chat, man. Everybody the in the chat. The homie Dice, he's right now, but yeah. Yeah, shout out to Dice. Like I said, we got Champ Time too. He's coming up to my homie, to the homie uh, neighbor, uh, you know, Let me see who all we got. Part, part by three right there, you know, Big Perf. Uh, how, how look at that? Right, right. The Ditto Box R- R- popped right up. We was just talking about that. The Ditto Box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 100%. <laughs> Take that, take that. Hey, shout out to uh, DJ Lowe's, because I was just uh, going to... Yeah, shout out to DJ Lowe's right there. He just got back from... And his, uh, and his pop right there. Yeah, okay. Powerbook Powerbo- Powerbo- Smalls right there. Yeah. Mm. Powerbook Smalls. Yeah, no, look. Oh, it's going down tonight, ain't it? Oh, yeah, tonight, right now, at Motor City right Casino. Right now at the Motor City Casino, Rakim, DJ uh, Kid Capri, Big Hurt, oh, Miss oh, Corona... Fucking oh, yeah. awesome Dre, right there, DJ too. Los. We've had them all on. It's we need Rock Kim and, and Kid Capri to come on. So Rock Kim, Kid Capri, we need you on here. DJ Lo, actually, I should probably go. I bet you DJ Los is live wow. over there. I should shoot over to DJ yeah, Los. Awesome uh, Dre in the lineup. Um, pretty damn sure. Yeah, I mean, awesome Dre he was live an hour ago. Shout out to DJ Los. Yeah, shout out to you. Yeah, there's Rakim coming out. There's many others there. That same. Right there. Let's see what's going on at the Motor City Casino right now, y'all. If you're in Detroit, shoot down at the Motor City Casino. Rock him, the legend is dope. Your, your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. Your favorite rapper. I see Kid Capri and Ghost right over here and shit. Right there by the Ghost. Ghost is everywhere, though. I'm telling you, Ghost yeah, is Lose everywhere. Is everywhere. Yeah. But make sure he's you check everywhere. that out. He's, he's everywhere, you're never there. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. DJ Ghost be everywhere, though. Shout out to DJ Ghost, man. Yeah, shout out to DJ Ghost for real. He was up by Big Ben. Oh, yeah, he was by Big Ben. Yeah, out there in London, rocking it. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm looking at the flyers right here. We got uh, OG Drunken Mask coming up. We got yep. uh, DJ Nuff Said from the Music Shop. Nuff Said, yep. We got uh, Arizir and Honey coming up. Yep. Crackle Capone coming on, Champ Town coming on. This ain't even all of them, dog. Champ Town right there. Yo. This ain't even all of them. I can't even get to all of them. I don't even know what all of them is. I can't even find them. Oh, we got Necro coming on. Yeah, Necro. We got Necro coming on. We got, uh, who do we, uh, who else we got coming on? Legend Oh, from the South Central Cartel. Uh, and, a re- and a reschedule for FC Shane. Yeah, MC Shan will be on. So we'll for MC Shan yeah. to be announced. Shout out to uh to be announced to be in- BTP Media. Check them out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to them. But yeah. uh, who we just booked uh from uh formerly from South Central Cartel, no longer with South Central oh, Cartel. Oh, Havoc. Havoc. Yeah, Havoc. Havoc, Havoc the mouthpiece. Yeah. Havoc the mouthpiece. South Havoc, South the formerly at South right Central there, Cartel. So, you know, yeah. West Coast legend. We just got him uh, coming on. Wait, wait, I'm not, familiar, I'm not familiar with his name. <laughs> no. Hey, here we so go. I'm some saying, the, this the is a real hip hop podcast right here. You know, you know, yeah. So you, if you know, you do know. You know like hip hop right here. You know, it's not just old heads. It's like we go everywhere. OG drunk in mass on uh, April 27th, y'all. It's a little wild G too, you know, like right there. Yeah. We got some young blood in here. We we encourage more. Go check out that episode with uh, YLG, y'all. And shout out to yeah. Murder Minute Media. 
They did get that Benzino interview, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Benzino, shout yeah, out there in West Warren yeah. King. I seen you, dog. I seen you check up about uh, Snap Doster and all that, like, coming through yeah. Detroit on, on that ride ride shit, you know what I'm saying? Come through yeah. and show respect. Like, we talked about it a couple times, you know what I'm saying, on there? Because yeah. uh, Starstruck actually brought it up homie, the first like, time. Come on, homie. Yeah, like, if you we come handle on, shit different here in Detroit. Yeah. But uh, you might not know that, you know what I'm saying? But you. you he yep. just kind of slid through real quietly and slipped out. It's all good. Oh, it yeah. is what it is. No, yeah, man. This, this, but this, we, this, rock, this, we rock with Wild G, though, right there, though. Yeah. We got to go after the deals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shout out to uh, Panda Chop News, too, and shit. Panda Chop News what right up, there, yep. Yeah. Cuban Lee. Hmm? And we got that 10,000 uh, subscriber giveaway, on, so we'll get more details yeah. for that coming up. Yeah, Stay tuned let for us that. know what you want too, like possibly like a, of a shirt idea. Like, yeah, for sure. But uh, Chester McFly said no, Diddy. But uh, shout no, out yeah. to everyone that came on, dog. I think we all go ahead and uh, call it a night. This uh, it was a dope episode. Starstruck. It was a dope. It was like Detroit hip hop history, and, and not just Detroit. I mean, I know Starstruck could have talked about a lot. Like I know how he produced for SWV. He did bring up Three Six Mafia. But he didn't talk mainly about it. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of big legends he could have talked about, but he talked about Detroit hip hop, like come growing up. And he talked about his high school. You know what I'm saying? Talked about fucking. He talked about the hood, Finkel. You know what I'm saying? He talked about growing up in Detroit hip hop, and he was, it was dope. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Absolutely, it was all love. I mean, first and foremost, like we always do, remind it is like a Detroit-based podcast, even though you know as a As a co-host right here, I've always wanted to keep it, you know, as, you know, I feel welcome right here is, you know, gravitating towards Detroit hip hop. So first and foremost, we always got to remind that, you know, it's, we keep going, you know, we got love for everybody here, but, but, you know, with Detroit right there, got to understand. Bring it back, bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. Oh, yeah. 100%, 100%, man. Yep. I had, yep. I had a great, great uh, wisdom. Uh, All this shit that happened this episode, week in Detroit uh, will be with, uh, starstruck. He uh, actually turned me on to a lot of things that I didn't know about the earlier Detroit. Uh, yeah, he, he took it way back, dog. Uh, Black told you, I wish you could have made it earlier. Yeah. And shit. He took I, mean, it way back. I mean, I'm sure you like, mentioned, yeah, like probably J to the D, maybe. Uh, so he went back as far as like 85, 86, didn't he? Uh, Chris well, like with Prince, Vin- Prince Vincent stuff? And, yeah. yeah, he went way back. He took it yeah, way back. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, Prince too, you know, R.I.P. But he was definitely representing for Finko and shit. And he was uh, definitely, and he brought up, he, he told the whole Street, street Lords affiliation. Shout out to the whole Street Lords, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah. Yeah. Man. Shout out KDZ. You know what I'm saying? I remember shooting the club Bionics when it was over there on Joy Road. That was back in, I think, 2006, 2007. That shit was mm-hmm. banging. You can get shot in my hood, get popped in my hood. The murder Mac is always open, uh, Brad Face. You know what I'm saying? Our Benzino. The murder Mac is always open. Get ready for that celebrity boxing. Monte Cristo and Benzino. It's going down. Oh, yeah, it's going down. Man, dog, yeah. that Benzino, Benzino going down. you don't want it, though. You, I mean, like, Monte Cristo literally could hold his hand out like this, and Benzino, his hands would be like like that. Like, yeah. Like, like that shit. To well, you, well, you know you can't hit him in the neck. You can't hit him in the neck. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that one. Benzino, if you were smart, but he'll take that hit. He might just take that hit. Might Benzino just. might just take that hit. <laughs> oh. Let's get that epic fight going on. Let's get like Talib and and him. No, no, he kills. He, I think he killed Talib still. But um. man, Monty will fucking knock the brakes off of fucking Benzino's ass, dog. Mm-hmm. You know them that. weights don't hit back, Benzino. Them weights don't hit back. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, Monty. That's what Bruce Lee said. And I don't know if yeah. you ever see Monty in person. <laughs> he ain't a little guy. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I witnessed this for sure. Yeah, like he look. He, you know. Yeah, when you look at him online or something like that. He can that, back it you know, up and shit. He ain't just talking. He ain't just swinging a purse like some people we know. 
So, yeah, he, he's yeah. not just swinging a purse. He would yeah. be rocking with him if he would, if he was just a purse swinger like, you know, uh, yeah. Rich Around Records. Master Rich Around. <laughs> yeah. Swinging a purse for a thousand dollar interview. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to everybody that's in here. If you new, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit like your hair too and shit. Jay Gutter, Antonio Ty, Brother King like X, it, and we got Christopher Jordan. Shout out to uh Starstruck. Peace, peace, Shout peace. out to Chester peace. McFly in the building. He said he paid to see that fight and shit. Yo, Shout bro. out to everybody in this. Peace, peace, yeah. Yeah. Anything y'all want to say though before we get out of here? Go ahead. Christopher Jordan, you can just uh Say you go and then uh, we just go down the line and shit. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I like to uh, give a shout out uh, to the uh, guest we had on the show, Starstruck. Starstruck, thank you yeah. for a very, 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 very good interview because I learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know about the D, and I'm still learning a lot about the D. Even though my brother's in Pontiac, but you know I'm learning still a lot about the D. Shout out to Yak Town. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, like, yeah, I'll just give a shout out to Stanton Island, shout out to Detroit, shout yeah, out to yeah. Tucson, Arizona, shout out to the whole Arizona, matter of fact. Yeah. That, 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 that. Hell yeah. And it's and it's all Southwest, baby. It's all Southwest. Baby. Southwest. Shout out Philly. Yeah, shout out Philly. Yeah. yeah, of course. You know, guys. Shout out Philly. Oh, shout out Philly. Sorry about that, Chester McFly. No, Ch Chester McFly said he's from Southwest Philly. So... Oh damn! And uh, but so it's Finkel night tonight, though. We've been talking Finkel. I mean, we started yeah. it with Brother King Gibbs giving a uh, history yeah. lesson on Finkel, and then Starstruck popped on just the time to come in and kind of like follow up off of what Brother King X was talking about Finkel, and it kind of was perfect how it blended into high school. And all that, and the legends of hip hop coming up and shit. And so, uh, Brother King X, anything yeah. you want to say uh, before we get out of here, dog? Because, I mean, uh, we was celebrating Finkel Ad tonight and shit. You know what I'm saying? Finkel. Yeah. So, you, I mean, that's your hood. I just want to say uh, shout out to uh, Starstruck for coming on, for coming on to the show, spreading the game and the knowledge. Chester McFly, I see you in the comments. I see you, bro. I know you in the chat. Lantonio Todd. Salute. Jordan. And of course, and of course, you know my homie from the cradle to the grave, from the grave to the cradle, Jay Gutter. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We fam at the Hood Smoker Podcast, all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all family. Yeah. We yeah. all growing yeah, together, you know what I'm saying? We all, we all family, man. What you at now, Chester McFly, a million subscribers? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? No, but that's Appreciate good. That's good. Go, go subscribe to Chester McFly. Yeah, if you haven't, definitely do it. Yeah. yeah I'm going to hop on that, man. I see it in the background Thank last week. We so y'all share. Yeah, yeah he's you know, been blowing yeah. up and shit. That's what's up. Nah, yeah. we appreciate that. Well, he, he's got us pinned at the bottom of his channel, so that's dope. Shit is yeah. live on there, Chester McFly. Yeah, salute. <laughs> now, share this shit around, y'all. Like it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Black Tony Ty, I know you tapped in late, dog. I wish you would have came in yeah. earlier because, you, like I said, Maybe we got to talk a lot about Dice because you know that's yeah. his cousin by marriage. Yeah. So he yeah. had some stories to tell about Dice, which was dope. And mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, I, but I told him, I was like, yeah, our homie Black Tony, who came up here from Tucson, who's part of the show, who's our brother, he's, you know. Yeah. So yeah, he was about the whole Dice Relate like cool with dice, no diddy, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, no diddy at all, no, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yeah. oh, it, it, no, was, yeah. it was all it was all big purr, but no diddy, yeah, that's the thing. so yeah, <laughs> but go ahead, but, anything you want to say, man. No, that right there is like you know, like everybody's like pretty much covered it right there, like honor having like starstruck on with us, you know, all my brothers right here, you know. Christopher Jordan, you already know. My brother from another, you know, Gutter. Yes, brother sir. King X right here. Same um, here, same you know, here. Testing fly, everybody right there. The homie Dice that was, you know, like also mentioned right there. Um, we could go all night with this. So that's why I was like, yeah. I don't want to keep it rambling on, but, you know, like we all kind of covered it. But um, 100%, man. So y'all know, you know, you're not forgotten. <laughs> if we, you know, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, shout out Tyler Quali. <laughs> yeah, uh, anybody oh, yeah. seen him? On the back of a, is he uh, still missing? What? Is he still missing? Oh, you he know what? Is? I can listen, I can look yeah, him up yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. Anybody let us know? Yeah, let us know where he's at. I mean, we know where Telefib is. You know, he. Yeah, uh, Telefib's been around. I think we've actually had him on here. Yeah. 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 But uh, so. Yeah. But anyway, man, you know that's that's about it for me. I don't know about you. Uh, what you got, brother? Got no, I already said my shout out. Shout outs to you. Shout yeah. out to Christopher Jordan, brother King X, yeah. Starstruck, Chester McFly, buddy Big Wig, Split a D, Cocker, everyone in the chat. Uh, everyone that we missed. And I'm just checking to see if Tyler uh, Kwali is all right. You know what I'm heard, saying? I just I heard he yeah. said that did his last party. Uh, he got a uh, oh. he got a post. He got a new post. He's gonna be in Columbus. So imagine that. He's gonna be in Ohio. Imagine oh, Talib. Oh, Why would Talib be in Ohio? I thought he's Ohio, damn, okay. He's not from Ohio, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that, that's not what his suitcase say. No, that's not what suitcase. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm looking at his videos. I just want to check something real quick. Yeah. I wanted to yeah. see if uh, if he kept Telefib up here. I just want to see it just from my oh, right, yeah. I don't know if the people want to see. Yeah, uh, I'm scrolling down. I'm sure he he's got a bunch of stuff on here. Yeah, but I, I mean, yeah, might not be able to find yeah, it. I can't hate on that, you know, like that. No, he yeah, he got Telefib on somewhere on here. I'm trying to find it. Yeah. No, 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 we see that, you know, like that. It's like a, has it been? Oh, it ain't been a year, has it? It ain't been a year. Dude, it, actually, it has because, like, before I even came out there, we had the beef starting, oh, I no think. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. We had the beef starting because, it, like, ain't that right, Brother King X? It was like, Kid Vicious was beefing with him, like, when I came out there. Yeah. We knew about it, but it was, like, yeah, not where it is now, but, yeah. I don't know. I can't find it, but y'all can find it. He's out. It's somewhere on it. It was before the series came out, though. It was before the Telefib series came out. He probably didn't post that much. Oh, shit. oh yeah. Oh, That's the main thing was that flyer he posted, and then he's got his rants, and I see his screenshots. Okay, good. I'm gonna find it right here. I'm gonna have. We gonna find Telefib right now. Oh man. Yeah. I'm good. Right here. Stay tuned, y'all. This is on Tali Kwali's Facebook page. Y'all can check it out. I'm telling you. See Y'all think I'm bullshit. I'm gonna find Telefib on here. Mm -hmm. I, I'm recognizing some of these hey, videos. What's going so on with most dress? I found him, Feral Rapper. Yeah, the Feral yeah, Rapper. Let's go. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Let's get a thumbs up. This bitch got more views than any of his other videos. Let me turn this on. We don't play. I'm a failed rapper, so of course the rap legends that I have on my podcast are going to be okay. more successful yeah, than me and my co-hosts. Yeah. Like but I dare you to call one of them a failed rapper. I'm a failed rapper, yeah, so of course you know I'm going to hang out with white hill. supremacist friends, uh, who are also Nazis, and who also are I'm, I'm, failed rappers I'm, I'm like myself. Tyler Kweli, once again. Man, you just said that right there. I got to think. To be your friend. Come on and raise up. I'm a failed Take rapper. So, of course, I'm going to work this dead end 9 to 5 yeah. job over at Wingstop just to make ends meet. Because, for one, no, I'm my Carolina. rap career has it finished. Yeah. My podcast has it flourished that I'm a part of it, the Hood Smoker Podcast. And definitely oh, making videos about my brother Talib Kweli and I'm his albino brother has it taken off, and that's not it. So, therefore. I'm a failed rapper. That dude should have been big. He's a whack ass, Tyler yeah. Quali. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. All right, we, we, go. Hey, we, got, you, we got you a couple more plays, homie. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, it still got more views than anything else on this shit. It was posted on January 4th. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's Telefair Quali on, uh, on Tyler's page. MC you can find that over there on Tyler's page. Or you can find it here on the Hood Smokers Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Or you can find it on uh, Papa Jive on Instagram. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, salute to y'all. If anybody finds yeah. Talib, let us know. Tune in yeah, uh, Saturday cool. night. We got the Diggy well, Diggy like, Doc, y'all. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got DLC coming up, y'all. So uh, yeah. get ready. DLC said he's ready. Oh, we oh, ready. No, we, he can talk. He knows he can talk open and candidly on this show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. they know. Uh, we, we ain't got we're no rules sure he's on. He's got that. a lot to talk about, so we're excited for that. How he doing? Yeah, yeah. Shit, he can't say on other 
places. I ain't gonna say yeah. no names, but you know what I'm saying. Shit, he can't say because of the powers to be. We don't yeah. give a fuck Bless about the powers. To be. We're not trying to. We're not trying to get anybody in trouble and stuff. Right, like that kind of stuff. Nah. Yeah. Not so, at all. Listen. How we, come we I seen? Uh, yeah. So what? So so you were on the drive by with uh, Tupac the other day, right? <laughs> <laughs> How come I seen uh DJ Vlad on the Nancy Grace? I think it was Nancy Grace or uh, oh no way. One, yeah. so one of them shows dog that talk about the real crime shit, true crime shit. One of them true crime shows dog. He was sitting there, he was all uh, buttoned up and shit. No, he didn't look hip hop at all. He was talking proper as hell. He was like, yeah, thank you, thank you for having me on. I'm glad. I'm glad. They were talking about Diddy, so they had. They had I, Vlad I come on. I latte before I came on here, you know. Yeah. You gotta have Vlad come on to talk about Diddy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He was yeah. the he was the most hip hop they could get. Yeah. Or if you don't like my impression, I want to hear what your your problems with my impression is. You got an impression of Vlad? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I seen you were doing that. I was yeah. ordering a latte on the way over to the interview, and you know. Yeah. <laughs> So in 1996. So in 1996, um, yeah. So in yeah. 1997, in 1993, four on regular. Yeah. So did, did you actually caught a case for that, didn't you, um, Warren? Did, did yeah, yeah. Um, you have the shell casings in your pocket, right? If I'm not mistaken. The gun's buried in your backyard, right? Yeah, yeah, right. What's the what part? Oh, right, left, right, court, west, the southwest side of the backyard is buried, right? <laughs> what about two feet? Yeah, there? yeah. The body is buried, you know, like in your backyard from what I heard. You know, so, how'd you hold the gun when you <laughs> shot it? <laughs> no, I'm just moving. I better shut up, dog. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're going to get in trouble with this shit. Dog. Yeah, we got to stop, dog. They, they're watching us They're too more. sensitive, dog. We done talk. We talked some. We did get into some shit. We did get into some topics. And I did notice with the first time, yeah. dog, I ain't going to lie. When we first started talking, when I, as soon as we said Benzino's name, I ain't going to lie to viewers went up a little bit, dog. Like, it was like exactly. they wanted to hear us go in on them and shit. It is what it is, dog. Don't come to Detroit on that rah rah shit, dog. And then. You no, the fuck this, this, yeah, this, this, this and you shit. fucked up Snap Dog's name. Put some respect on Snap Dog's name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and act like you don't. Uh, like how how are you? I rock with Detroit. I rock with Detroit, but you don't know who Snap Dog is, though. That's right. another thing. All right, you, yeah. you rock with Detroit. It's like no, you gotta know, you gotta know Detroit then, because that Snap Dog is like yeah. Detroit. Right there. So, and I salute the Murder Man Media because they checked yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah Murder Man Media for sure. You know, like definitely, we rock with him. Shout out to Wild G, and uh, you know, no doubt, no, Warren, Warren King yeah. right there. If he want to come on too for like like an yeah. interview, man. Like yeah, I right said, there. when I originally talked to the Wild Young Liv Living Ghost, mm -hmm. yeah, yep. Young was, Living uh, Ghost right there, yep. West Warren King, I was chopping it up with and shit. Because mm -hmm. you know, I'm, so I'm he, still he's, over there. He's West more Warren. than welcome to come on here. Like he want to chop up and get some shit yeah, off his no chest, doubt. yeah. Yep. Yeah, no doubt. We wish them the best of success with what they're doing. It's good to see young brother yeah. doing like positive things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not no bullshit out here doing no stupid shit. But yeah. stay out of trouble, man. Yeah, I know when you're young, you do some dumb yeah. shit. Uh, you know, I did do did my share. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Uh, no, we wish the best for them, the, 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 the youngsters right there. You know, for real. Yeah. Right. So no, we ain't just like oh, oh we ain't some old heads telling y'all not to do something dog. We just we know from experience, you know what I'm saying? We we know. We been through it. We trying to tell don't do as we did, do as we said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we or the or the quote or the quote like like a like uh you know, my 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 favorite rapper, um, you know, Jalil right there when he said, you know, what you doing yeah, already? Jalil, one love. This is all just a part of growing up. Yeah. yeah, so the same. Jalil wants to be. Shout out Jalil. Shout out Jalil. Shout out Jalil. Yeah. Hutchinson. But, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and jump out of here. Shit, it's been over three hours, dog. Shit, we chopped yeah. it up. In the words of Ice Cube, because I was still young doing yeah. dubs. Yeah. Shout out to Ice Cube, too, because Ice Cube shouted out Detroit. I seen uh, the other day, shit, he was shouting Detroit out and shit. So, uh, Shout out to yeah. Ice Cube. He always shows uh, Detroit. Yeah. He always Absolutely. comes through here and shows 
That's why I'm and he didn't join the club. Show. He didn't join the club. Yeah. So. Nah, he didn't join so. the club. He said, "Fuck that club." You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. The Diddler Club. Much love, y'all. Make sure you catch us. Make sure you catch us on this uh, Saturday, though. Same time, same place. Yep. With your host, me, Jay Gooder, Brother King X, Antonio Time. You know what I'm saying? We got the DOC, the Diggy Diggy Doc, the man himself. And we might have a yeah. couple legends that might pop in just to pay homage. You could give them his roses, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And say, what up, though? You know what I'm saying? So you never know. So tune in, because we, we're live. You know what I'm saying? We just do this shit live. That's why we say what we say, you know, it's real. Because we ain't editing it and cutting shit out and being like, oh, I said Ooh. that? Let me take that out, because I shouldn't have said that. Shit, ain't none of that shit, because we keep it 100. So if you disagree with what we say, you can talk about it. We don't care. We'll, we'll debate with you. Why you think, uh, the, I mean, I don't even got to bring it up. Well, well, well I was, was going to say we go live anyway, as it yeah. is. So it's like in the spot, you know, so it's like, yeah. you know. People know the real deal. We ain't faking it out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they know what's up. Yeah. So uh, from, we try to bring uh, hip-hop. We celebrate hip-hop from Detroit to the world, mm-hmm. home. The hometown yeah. is Detroit, you know what I'm saying? But we celebrate yes. hip hop worldwide because we, I mean, we're all hip hop babies and we all MCs. Right. We all grew up hip hop. That's what it is. And it's a culture, it's a way of life. Yeah. So we celebrate our genres, our elements. We respect them all, you know what I'm saying? They're all part of what we grew up, the shit we love. So if we're together, we could run shit, you know what I'm saying? We get yeah. no Diddy shit, you know what I'm saying? Get rid no of that shit, right there. you know yeah. what I'm saying? The real ones so that's why we what we try to do is have the real ones on here that, and that's what we do so just like shout Absolutely. out starstruck yeah i mean starstruck would have been perfect on the uh valentine's day massacre with charlie picasso and this so oh, yeah. and monte cristo Absolutely. monte yeah. cristo was all up in the chat too shout out to monte cristo that's the home yeah, the the but i'm gonna get out of here dog we'll jump out of here uh we're gonna get out of here Play the outro. But uh yeah. Long day tomorrow. We all got uh we all we all out here hustling and grinding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So tune yeah. in this Saturday night. I'm excited about the DOC. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah. dope. Yeah. And if you're an artist or you know somebody who rocks, man, that you might want to see on here, send them our way. I mean, that's it. Yeah, yeah. anybody you want to see on here, just drop their names on here. You, you'd be surprised. Be and then not to do the tacky part, you know, like, yeah, we got the cash apps up there. Um, Just donations, man, you know, anything like yeah, that. Yeah, the cash apps right under the, in the yeah, description. Yeah. We, Show we, some we, love. Yeah. yeah. We ain't got the Diddy money right now. So. No, we ain't getting Diddy money and shit. Well, yeah, yeah I don't we know, Diddy might be broke diddy now. Diddy. Yeah, we, yeah. He's losing money right now. I think he might yeah. have money. Them lawyers are gonna cost a whole lot of bread. Yeah. yeah. And Much we, love, we, y'all. We didn't have enough money to afford Revolt TV either, so we didn't buy it. Much love, y'all, from the Hood Smokers podcast. Oh, yeah. This two six. What what episode is this? Two sixty four. I think we're on two sixty four now, though. We fucking we going up there, though. We getting up there. We going. We've been grinding them out, y'all. We go live every Wednesday and Saturday night. Yeah. So, yeah. I believe we're on two sixty four. I don't know, but uh, yeah, yeah, 264. I be losing count, you know what I'm saying? I gotta go no. Keep but going up, to, keep rising right. up to the top. So yeah. yes, and we just keep on growing. And it's all love, and we yeah. appreciate all the we'll, support. We'll, we'll be bringing the, uh, MC Shan back, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, MC Shan will be on, so don't worry yeah. about that. Shout out, like I said, shout out to BTP. That's fun. Yep. And they rock with uh, a lot of people. We rock with. Like I said, we got uh, formerly Have South Central Have Cartel. It. Have it, the mouthpiece. Have it, the mouthpiece right there. Yeah. South Central Cartel. Yeah. West Coast legend. West Coast legend right there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And he got a lot to say. So get ready for that one. That's April 13th, I believe, is the date for that one. So stay tuned for the flyer and shit. That's coming up. That's like just a couple Absolutely. weeks away. Now. In the works. In the works. Yeah. yeah. But Personally uh, speaking, right here. Yeah. But shout out to... Uh, Blatonio Ty, Brother King X, much love, y'all. Shout out everyone in the chat. We out of here, y'all. It's the Hood Smokers Podcast. Peace. 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 Much love, y'all. Thanks for tuning in.
the hottest number one podcast based out of Detroit, Make sure you check us out uh, Saturday now, night, DOC, y'all. With your host, Jay Gunn. Shout out to Starstruck, man. Shout out to all y'all. Brother King X. That's all we are, Detroit's time. number one. And the Good rest time. of the Hood Smoker Squad. Yeah, we don't do no flat stuff. We don't do no Adam stuff. Hell no. We keep packing in the legends, respect them, and keep adding up. So pack a blood or two. Maybe Maybe grab grab a food food. and a snack for you. Yes, sir. And leave behind your attitude. Yeah, get out of here. As we snap it to the hood smoke. Block me if you want to come at me on Facebook. I didn't even know you fucked with Facebook. Denzino, what the 